Uh, hey, everybody. Uh, I'm Danny. I'm the Dungeon Master for Gardens of Radon. First, I want to say thank you to everybody who has listened uh, or watched our first episode. Uh, it really means a lot to us, uh, so thank you to everybody who has. Uh, for episode two, I wanted to add a little disclaimer so you know nobody's surprised about it or anything. Um, when we were playing this session, we were trying to do a hybrid session. We've done these several times before, where the majority of us are playing in a physical space, uh, some others who can't make it for whatever reasons they may be, we're playing digitally over Discord. So when it comes to the quality of the audio, keep expectations to a relative minimum if you can. Uh, we were just trying to record the, the, the best that we can while trying to maintain, you know, the, the, the ambience um, for, you know, everybody involved. So thank you guys for, for, for your patience and uh, wanting to know a little bit more about, you know, this game that we're playing. Uh, but thank you. With all that being said, episode two of Gardens of Redon. Spelljammer's free on D&D, by the way. D&D &D Beyond, well, they, gave, they gave Spelljammer free for everyone, I'm for not, subscribers. I'm it. So wait, on what D &D is Beyond? So Spell, Spell, Spelljammer back in the 90s was D&D's space adventure. They brought it back for 5e. We now have a dedicated space yeah, module and player's handbook. Oh, with, 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 oh new, with, new, uh, uh, with new races. With new races. That's awesome. Space elves are a thing, have fun. <laughs> I'm here for it. Yeah, Sean is absolutely Dude, no, dude, read the Space Chamber book, dude. You'll actually dig it. Um, okay. Continue, sorry. No, 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 you're good, you're good. Um, I'd like a las gun, please. <laughs> well, I think, uh, I think the last time in the Gardens of Radon, um, everybody was finally able to introduce themselves and, you know, sort of learn who uh, Professor Tibble Todd is with a little bit of a, you know, rocky introduction, I'd say. Um, How many fuck yous can a guy get? Everybody, uh, everybody reported over to Pumia of, um, of their encounters over in the Vale. Um, while she immediately asked, hey, what, like, what's next? Being a little insensitive along the way. While you guys are able to, you know, put Pumia in check, saying, hey, we just went through a lot, give us a damn break. She was like, hey, fair enough, here's some gold. At that time, the variety of the uh, of the champions sort of, you know, sort of split off into their own corners of Long B. Ghost and Sage went and shot some birds, had a, you know, they, had a little heart-to-heart heart with uh, each other's feelings. Um, Glanton got to see the progress for RJ's, uh, RJ's new frame and was able to get, you know, a little bit of a one-on-one -on -one with, uh, Eula as they had a little, uh, strength competition with, uh, with, with Tibbles. Let's go. Giving both of each other a run for their money. I'm a strong boy. And uh, the gay o day and Sean getting and, and, and just yeah, straight up no, Sean and Sonaris. Yeah, wow, you got it right. Sonaris is just a proxy for Sean. Got absolutely I plastered. I we got drunk as shit. And it was amazing. <laughs> there was, you was there like a shot, drink, a drinking contest. Yeah. Like, it, it was a shot yeah, contest yeah, about yeah, cursing. Shot the gay o won this shit. Trying to break him like Captain America. <laughs> It was um, extremely you know what? Now I really want to race shot in an actual drinking contest. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. That Blues. would be impressive. Uh, <laughs> Sean, Sean already had his time in the sun back in the day. Yeah. <laughs> I uh, could have fucking do it. Um, I'm kidding. One second. It's okay. We can tag team him. I can <laughs> out and drink him. 
once everybody <laughs> sort of regrouped at the Bone Inn, um, I, I, like believe it was, <laughs> I believe it was Tybalt, Ghost, and Sage who went outside so Tybalt can show what he can actually do in a very jarring manner. Show up. Jarring for Sage. Jarring for Sage. <sighs> After that, Ghost found Glanton and uh, taught, him about, taught him about the Walk of Shame. No, I told him to no, ask about the Walk of Shame. Just, so just for Sonara's future reference, you can't do that shit with Glanton. <laughs> Don't worry, if anybody knows about a Walk of Shame, it's Valzir and Sonaris. Hey. 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 <laughs> One of them's dead in the ground, so we'll see. As a whole uh, not walking of shame anymore. And as how a, does one walk shamefully? <laughs> as everybody sort of with returned back to the ass, bone uh, in with Glanton, um, still at the curl bar, you know, working the night shift on RJ's frame. Your consciousness was speaking to you. And you were able to hear that uh, sorry, that mad. weird little voice oh. that you haven't heard in oh. quite a few weeks. Yeah, it's this quiet. Point. It's nice. And that is where we start today, in the wee dawn hours. Can you remind us what that said? Because I forgot. Uh, locate Vaca. Uh, Thank you. I can just straight up play it. No, you're good. You're good. Locate Vaca. That's why I need to know. No, yeah. Yeah. I, yeah. Okay. Um, that's right. Oh, all right, Vaca. Whatever that shit is. Can I? Can I be the one that Vodka? wakes? Vodka, vodka Sprite. Anyway, yeah, um, we, we must look at vodka. Please, guardians, have you heard of a Sprite cranberry? <laughs> um, oh. I, I, if I may, I want to be the one that wakes up first. I'm used to waking up bright and early for classes, so. I'm already awake, though. I'm just in class. Yeah, because you're an elf, so mm-hmm. that makes sense. You're half elf. Like, you get that? Do you get that no, benefit? No, I don't get that benefit. Okay, because you have to sleep like a human. It's the human in you. Centuries rest only lasts six all, hours. All the, uh, okay, so you both. I get all the uh, magical resistance benefits. Technically. Mm-hmm. No, no, because I'm. Pr- I, Glanton, forgive me if I'm wrong. Are you straight up just having your long rest at the crow bar? Like, you're not going to the bone and at all? He's gonna come back at some point. Well, well, in, in order to do his RJ thing, he has to long rest after one. Yeah, I th- I th- so yeah, you probably I think, just sent to your rest there. Yeah, yeah. I, I, th- I think yeah. D- D- yeah, you get to be there and watch him come back with his walk of shame. I wouldn't say. This, oh, I wouldn't think this, it's a walk of shame though. This it's is. Not, it's not. You happening. you receive this message roughly around, let's say for the sake of brevity, six ish in the morning. Um, the first to, you know, awaken from your little message is going to be Tibble. Okay. Tibble, you sort of open your eyes and you can see the orange glow of the sun raining into the window. I this is... God. However... Oh, the sun works, but okay. <laughs> In this the world, sun world. itself is going inside the window. <laughs> yeah. How? I just, it's I, amazing. Like in the I, best day I wake up and I, um, um, I kind of like squint my eyes and I feel around for my glasses and I put them on my snout. Mm-hmm. Uh, I, I will say, while, while you've woken up, you know, before mm-hmm. early you know, for, for, for curriculums mm-hmm. and all that sort of stuff. And you've sort of had, you know, your... I have my morning ritual. You've had your morning ritual before, and it's totally understandable. This is the first time that you... Or, at least in recent memory, where you've been woken up by something externally, but also internally. Like I'm waking up not This on was a app. very weird startalization that wakes you up. Almost... I don't know how you sleep, but I almost caught with your pants down. I just, I wake <laughs> up. Well, no, I'll wake up, like, okay. no, I'll sit, like, I sit up like I'm coming out of a tomb, like a tomb. I'm just like, I sit up straight out of bed. I'm S- straight up Dracula in this <laughs> shit. Kind of, yeah. <laughs> I, just, I just, wake up. <laughs> and like, I just crack my neck. I grab my wand and I, I'll look at it, see if anything's messing with it, anything's... You, you don't even have to inspect it. You, you've you looked at this wand long enough across your ears. It's still the same. It still has that blood swipe along the tip mm-hmm. of your left from and the night tears. before. And tears. 
I'll uh, I'll grab my robe from like wherever I hung it, and I put on my robes, and I hide my wand in between I'll, my sleeve. I'll I'll even say, um, just for free, you mage hand your robes from uh, from your coat hanger too. I do have mage hand, so it works. That's slide, true. slide, slide it on. So it's just. The D, as, as the a, DD a, version as, of Cinderella. As a <laughs> skilled as a skilled wizard and professor, this is just how you do shit. I just uh, I knock on the wood drawer that's next to my or like end table, and Winston comes out. Then I have him climb. I'm like, how how are you doing, my little friend? I don't know how to make mice noises yet. So. No. <laughs> what they're doing? Yeah, like it's like squeaking. Yeah, yeah. That is not it. That's a baby. Yours yeah. is close. You both are close. I think what Nate's doing is more. How are you doing that? Like sucking have, your lips. My lips are massive. I actually don't think I can do that. <laughs> you got to I have big lips. lips. Um, Danny, this is for you to cut. You got some dick sucking lips, bro. Hey, yo! Hey, yo! Why cut that, Danny. Never get to cut it? Oh, please keep it in there. Oh, oh, it's God. early in the episode. I just might keep it in. <laughs> I look at Winston, I'm like, did you sleep well, my little friend? I'm gonna need you guys to make the mouse noises. I'm sorry. I kind of, so many. I kind of pat him on his... Like I kind of pat him on his little skull and I'm just like, okay. He has, he has mouse friends. I take my wand and I slide it into my robe like where I can easily like extend it out. Uh -huh. um, and I just... Get up, kind of brush myself off. As you take that inhale. Time for tea. Yep. <laughs> Make a perception check. Tea. It's a three. <laughs> Change perspective. <laughs> wow. <laughs> you go back I go to downstairs sleep. there. No, you go back to sleep. <laughs> you wake up. Uh, huh. You have time for tea. No, nope, it's still the morning. Give us <laughs> <laughs> time for tea. <laughs> the repass is straight yes. out. <laughs> I would say by the time you returned from you know, the, the bone in. It took you a little bit of time to be able to settle your nerves to finally you know, meditate. And you only have to do so for, for so long. By the time, you know, your four hours ends, that's when you receive your, your message. And as you received your message, based off of... I don't remember if it's a feat or if it's just your ranger stuff. Perception with advantage. the various halls of the Bone Inn. Outside, not only are you able to hear the rustling of leaves and like the clapping of like the of the of the sticks on the window, you're also able to hear screams distant. Uh -oh. That's not my problem. <laughs> uh, you mean wow. Wow, some hero. <laughs> I don't uh, can shit. I investigate these first? Or are they like too far away? You you hear them out of ear. <coughs> so I can go investigate. No, nothing so stops you from investigating. I would knowledge. like to go investigate the screams. Okay. As you uh, as, okay, as, as you too. gather your belongings and you leave your room out the door as well comes. Yeah, I always to go better on my phone that too. Hello. Me? Yes, you. I his he, he he the only thing on his mind right now is tea. No, no, I came out of the door. I came out of the doorway, and you're like right there. Yeah. Good morning. Um, I heard some screaming from outside. I'm assuming. 
I that was what the perception check was. You don't notice it. Uh and I'm gonna go check it out. Would you care to come? I look at my imaginary watch. <laughs> you would know what a watch is, yes. I know what a watch is. <laughs> uh no, I I would say I have a watch. Come on. I, sure, I, I, yeah, I, yeah. Maybe a pocket watch. Yeah, oh no, that's even better. Oh, that's even better. That's even I pull better. out a pocket watch. I pull out a pocket watch. And... It is, uh, it is, is it very pressing or can I have my it's teeth? It's screaming. I'm, uh, that's, <laughs> you're, you're, have you been in this world? I mean. Yes, and screaming usually leads to hurting. You're now outside of your rooms where, you know, the sounds from outside might be a little bit more prevalent. The screams screaming. Are, the screams are screaming becoming important. louder. Can I wake up? I yep. will accompany you. Nobody you shut the fuck up. That should be fine. <laughs> hey, come yo. Shut up. Shut up. Like, I'm like, shut the fuck up. With me. I got I'll, 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 I'll tag along. It's screaming. As long as you can come back and I can have my tea, that would be great. Yeah, Why are y'all yelling? <laughs> Why are you yelling? Uh, the rest of the party. The message awakens you guys from your slumber as well, unprivy of the screams from the outside. I'm still I'm hungover. <laughs> I'm a, I'm just gonna assume that I'm hungover. Mm. Everyone who's drinking. <laughs> Why are you so loud? <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Maybe I try to sleep. Goddamn, go die somewhere else. Fucking screaming headache, dude. What the fuck? I actually hear some. Uh, day, <laughs> day, Glanton, Sonaris, the Gayo, say. <laughs> what do you guys do? I'm gonna. You guys I'm wake up in your rooms. I thought, still... I thought I was still at the promo. That's right. Never mind. I put my you. head out. From, <laughs> I put my head out from behind the door. I'm like, y'all are so loud. Y'all need to shut the fuck up for a minute. You 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 peek your head out. <laughs> and I close the door. You see me and. Y'all are so loud. I'm hung over. <laughs> I'm actually. <laughs> yeah, it, it, don't bother. I've kind of learned not to bother. Well, at least you're learning. At least you're learning. <laughs> Close the door. What, uh, what do you do? You remind me of one of my students. I'm gonna take that as a compliment. Mm. <laughs> take it however you, you like, man. As you go outside. <laughs> oh, that that is is I have to like reel myself in for being sarcastic. I'm not Valzir. You see, I can't be that way. You 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 see uh you see you know people from Long Beach running. Screaming in terror from the opening gates and running backwards, closer towards you know city hall, um, the, the 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 school, and other parts, evading from what appears to be odd-looking individuals from the main gate entrance as they appear closer. Are we outside now? Like, yeah, we are. Okay. As you appear closer and closer, it is evident that you can see one groven individual <laughs> with a thorned spike through a Longinian civilian, killing them in the middle of the street. I want to flick out my wand and my eyes go wide and I just focus on the grove. Two, three, five, six, countless. A small smile goes across my face. I'm like, research. I want to talk to him. (laughs) You want to talk to the Grove? Well, because I can talk to him. Uh, You technically can. Uh, Technically can. You see, you see Um, the one (laughs) Grove. Are you attacking my place? What do you do? Uh, please, please stop. <laughs> there is a specific kind of frequency that your mind relays that the growth looks and turns towards you. <clears throat> you can see that it struggles to, you know, make emotion and move its facial muscles. 
the only thing that you hear from this individual psychically is simply begin. As they say this, you can both feel a loud rumbling in the floor. Enough to where everybody inside the bone in and crowbar <laughs> notices. Can can I say in their language that I am a part of the white hand and this is a safe place? You're not allowed to attack this place. I can't, can, swear you, to God. can you speak Grogan? As soon as you mention that. <laughs> I look over at you. What in God's name are you speaking? The the grove turns away from you and looks towards Tim. Do you speak Rovian? What the fuck? I look at him and I'm like, what a fine sure. specimen you are. <laughs> Amazing. I am assuming the rumbling... Um, Puts uh, the rest of the champions to action. Yeah. Uh, what do you guys do? I groggily open the what door. The fuck. Yo, we gotta go outside. <laughs> uh huh. Walk outside. What the Sonaris, fuck is going on? Sonaris, we need to go. We need to go outside. I, I, like, I run down the street. Down, down and then rice pad and run. What the fuck is going on? I chase. I, I, like, I chase. I come after. out of the front door of the tavern. Like, the fuck is going on? I chase after him. Like, what is happening? <laughs> the gay says. What are y'all doing? Sleeping still, apparently. <laughs> Have very heavy slippers. <laughs> Me and the gay were just fucking zonked out. Yeah, because, like, like, am, am I, I hungover? Oh, I'm extremely and, and hungover. Extreme. Yeah, very, very <laughs> much hungover. However, the rumbling that you guys feel in the floorboards, in the walls, whatever is outside is enough to awaken you from your yeah. drunken stupor. I follow, I'm following Sonaris outside, being drunk as, being hungover as shit, so. I like, okay, so like, for me, as the Gale, I start panicking from the rumble, I grab my axe, and then I like, eyes closed, squinty, like, run around, like, Oh, oh, uh, the Gale, I would love for you to make a either perception or nature check. I'm just... <laughs> I'm I'm it's you and door. Like, I just, I, I just ran. Me and him are like. Did you put your armor on? Yeah. Oh, I Oh yeah, I have, I have all my shit on. So, me. I have all my shit so on. So Nara's just like, fucking, fucking pants cup. fall down. <laughs> in the oh shit! No, d- no, 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 Oh, you're good. Oh, my God. The, the, the Grove sees his dick, takes something in there. <laughs> Embarrassment damage. Psychic damage. Research! Proficiency in nature, so I'm going to do a nature check. Okay. I mean, I do one more. 18. 18. Nice. The smell of mint is inescapable. You're fucking in no water. <laughs> You immediately know it's growth. Just by just by the smell of mint, you already know what you're dealing with. Hi, the gale. Yeah. How uh, are you? <laughs> fucking get yourself ready. <laughs> Holy shit. Uh, Sage, you are able to hear the footsteps of your companions rush towards the exit from your room. Sage just kind of lazily rolls out of bed. Just picks up her gun and slings over her shoulder and is like, I guess this is how we start our day now. And just kind of trots, trots down, fire bullets loaded, uh, and is just gonna get ready to shoot at the first row of PCs. Uh, Glanton, your, your, your sentry's rest is interrupted by the message, and you can feel the vibrations, you know, rattling the bolts in your legs. I immediately wake up. Um, are Nostin and RJ still? Uh, RJ RJ is still in that same position that he was before. Um, Nostin, you can see her sort of starting to close the door that is her bedroom. Hey, um, I'm 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 just gonna be here. Um, help us, please. Close the door. 
I take out Ophod's memory, and I I first turn to Arthur. He's like, "Do not worry, I will be back." And then I like go quickly, <clears throat> like stomp out the door and head and head to the square. Well, like everybody, roll initiative. <clears throat> I got advantage on initiative. Does Why anybody else hear me speak? Hmm? Plant except for him. Only Tibble, because he was the one who went out there. I I also have advantage. Oh, um, so nice. hello. The oh, fuck. You see a yumpty person. A massive. Oh, great. Grovian constrictor snake. I couldn't get the mini for it in time, so you'll have to settle for. (laughs) 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 Show that to them. Show that what you're. Fear him because he is mighty. The fucking <laughs> oh my god, is that, a, is that one of those Alert. fucking like, finger snakes? Yeah. 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 Oh. Slithering through all of them. Fear him! <laughs> watch him follow your shit. Sure watch him, watch him <laughs> freely move around. He is massive and his muscles are tendril. Oh my god. Would be more intimidated if he had big googly eyes. Yes. You can see that the. the you can yeah. see that this clearly. It's a snake. Ominous. And ominous, 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 omnipotent, Um, omnipotent. omnipotent. (laughs) You are (laughs) this, this, this absolute beast, this (laughs) hunkle (laughs) move. This giga chat of a snake (laughs) is truly big, powerful, and dangerous. Fear him, fear him because he is. Did you order the mini but just didn't come? I was actually going to like Marshalls to see if I can literally find a toy snake. Can you believe how hard it is to find a toy snake? Yes. Um, Dollar Tree, dude. Nope. That's why you get a worm on the street. Nope. Dollar General? Nope. Go to Cracker Barrel. That's where you find just like a shitty like. Walmart, Target. Isn't there like a craft Marshalls? Store? I remember there was like a craft store like years ago that used Hobby to just Lobby? sell like you a giant. You said it's a grove like, snake? Three it's models. a groven boa constrictor snake. Oh, so, does it speak animal or does it speak? I, I, w- I was thinking like it was like more more young. It would it would it would it would have. Does it speak parcel tongue or does it speak? <laughs> <laughs> I can speak anything, so really. It, I mean, it's technically broke at this point. Okay. Let me go ahead and get initiative. Going. Initiative. Um, okay. Okay. <laughs> so let's go ahead and go around for the initiative order. Ghost. Twenty one. Twenty one. Tibble. Twelve. Well, first combat. Yeah. Dead. Nice oh, fuck you. I'm just so far behind. It's the game. 21. 21. Who has the higher decks between the Gayo and Ghost? Uh, D- uh, I have a 17. You have a 17 in decks. The Gayo. Ghost is first then. I want to get the shin right away. I need to do a speed Uh, Sage. What is what wait, is wait, wait. Uh, uh, my dex is, is a plus four. four or that's what we do. We're dealing with wish dragon right so, now. You're telling me we can cast so, wish? I wish this game was. Hey. One, two, three. Sonaris. Nineteen. Nineteen. <laughs> I have nineteen too. So <laughs> who who has the higher dex between Sen and? Day. Uh, okay. uh, I have a. What did Tibble? A plus two or 15. They both have 15. Do we just want to roll off? Roll off. Okay. What, what, did, what did Tibble get? Oh, well, I got 12. Yeah, 12. <laughs> I have a plus two to initiative, but like, I don't know the 10. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay. Uh, add your deck one. That is six. I got three. <laughs> Why can't I see the game? She goes first. Deck first. What the fuck? I'm not even, there's no point in adding decks. Oh my god. I'm just ready to make the right. order for this big box. strong necromancer uh, over here. Shit shot once. Oh fuck. Finally, a number that can. How the fuck did I beat you? Okay. Oh, yeah. All of our numbers. Who high. technically goes first? God damn. Who's bro. on first? What's on second? Mm. I don't know who's on third. <laughs> Why is on <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Who's on first? Exactly. Uh, Who's on first? What's up? Okay, now. So what so my, you my, know what? I don't one, care. Oh, that's our short One stop. day when I get my own dog, I'm going to name him what? <laughs> Why? You're a bad. I can imagine that with an actual child. <laughs> like naming your child what? Have, have you, no, that, like, that, that was my child's name will be Why. That was made for a, a, scene, a scene from a hat for whose lines it is anyway. Like, uh, unconventional dog names. Like, one of them was, Help! <laughs> Help! <laughs> 
Come here, help! <laughs> like, it's like, this is this is it's like, this is my dog. No! Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Naming my dog. <laughs> Why? No, I named my dog Elon Musk. See, I'm dropping X A twelve. X A twelve equals my the second my, my dog's name right. is is to the first the to make their move. Sage. Um. Oh, Way back, way back here, Sage. I am so far back. Um, I don't, I'm not trying to like hit people, but also I'm trying to remember there, there, there is the main gate door in the way. Wait. Do okay. all these awnings here obscure view, or or can you go under them? You can but, go under them. Okay. By the way. I only said it was a plus one in my perception because I was remembering Dom's ears. It's plus six in perception, so I probably would have heard the screaming. You're here now. I'm here now! Yeah. I'm here now. And plus I have the glasses to give me a plus two, so I was like... Your glasses wait, wait, a wait. plus two? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, honestly, yeah. That's what it would amount to. Listen, do you smell something? <laughs> Burnt to burn toast, huh? Oh my god. I'm having a straw. I'll have fourth level spells, mm -hmm. I'm very excited. I guess, I guess the, the best, best thing, thing I can, can do, do is potentially cast a firebolt, but You're that's only going to hit, hit like one creature, and I'm trying to hit multiple. Well, well don't forget, um, you have this door in your way, and and everybody in your way here, so like you can't uh, see you can't see past this guy. I can't, I can't see, see past, past the door. door. You can try to you'll you'll have some of your I'm movement. If you, you get you, past Tegeo, you can try to you'll do, be right there. You can try ways. to do acrobatics to get past Tegeo and everybody else in, in order to get a clean shot at things. So if I do an acrobatics check, I can only do half my movement. No, no, no. So if you don't want to do an acrobatics check where you can fail and trip, you can just take half of your movement speed to squeeze in between the door and Tegeo. Oh, I see what you're saying now. Um... Okay, okay, it's me, Tegeo. Who the fuck is to the, the farthest far right? right? I'm so, so sorry. sorry. No, you're fine. Farthest right? Are we here? No, 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 no too, too far, too far, too far. Too far. Uh, next, next to, to Tegeo. That's, that's, that's day at the end okay. of my pinky, and that's that's Sonaris. Okay. okay. I will take half my movement, so far. and I, I want to squeeze. One, two... Three, she can get four. right in between. I want to try and squeeze past everyone, everyone so that I'm also, also not blocking their way. way. Is, is it possible to get to, get to I-21? Or is, or is that, that technically part of the gate? Uh, you can you can lean on the gate, I'd say. You, you'll be right behind Tybalt. That's, That's fine. fine. That's fine. I'm cool with using Tibble as a human shield for now. Thanks. Uh, <laughs> wow. yeah, yeah, use use the wizard as use the wizard as well. Yeah, the, 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 the wizard that definitely has a lower HP than me. Yep. Yeah. It's still uh, higher than you expect. Well, that's my movement. Can, uh, can, can wizards still... die from emotion or damage? Yes. It's called a vicious mocker. <laughs> what you know, what you think of Sage? Uh, I still want to cast... I still want to cast Flaming Spear. Um, it has a 60-foot range. And whatever I choose... It has a 60-foot range, or target range. It has a 5-foot area of effect range. And... The person, the person who, who I hit uh, uh, has, has to make a dexterity saving, saving throw. throw. It's, it's 17. 17. Um, um, and, and I, I want, want to, if I can, can, aim it right at the guy that's, that's like in between the stake at K14. That, that is a beautiful right measurement you got there. 60 foot. <clears throat> so it goes up that far. Mm -hmm. I'm blocking, so she'd have to, with her movement, so let's say. Uh, 
How much movement in total do you have? You have 30, don't you? You're 40. I have 40. Yeah. So, so you I, use 5. I, I counted it. You can actually, I yeah. counted like 20. You can move I past. I got you. You can move so that I'm not blocking you. If you moved away from gate and moved to like right here and you wouldn't have to squeeze past because there's ample enough movement, you can get right there, have clean shot on anything. On really anything. Is that going to be... Okay. Again, again, I mean, the, the, these tents here, you can go, you, you can go, they're, they're, you can go under them. It doesn't obscure view at all. They're, they're, yeah. on, they're awnings. They're, they're like, uh, they're like, they're like easy up. So if you move more, you'd have enough movement to at least get under here and still be under the tent and be able to shoot. It's more, more or less. I just, just want to make sure that I'm like, like, like around, around someone, someone so that, that I'm, I'm not, not like hitting anyone, anyone but, but I still, I still have, have like, like Cover. Yeah, you have I'm able to cover someone because I am gonna try and. Cover you're covering over. back. You're covering back group here of Day Tegeo, Sonaris. You're covering, and if you want to be covered, you can get behind us. I, me I, and would, I, okay. I would say the best place for you to do what you're trying to do, say K twenty. Say it again. K twenty. K twenty. Probably right. Here. Okay, that's that's more than reasonable. That's more than reasonable, and I want to cast Flaming Spear. I want to cast it It's a five foot radius of whoever I can uh, hit in the 60 foot range. I want to hit the person at K14, because that's at least going to hit that person in the snake. Uh, they have okay. to make a dexterity saving throw technically of 17. As, yeah, technically as well, the snake would have to do it. It's this one here, yeah. Mm -hmm. e. Did it hit me? Or um, you? No, because it's within a plot side. She has a six foot range to shoot. You're, you're out of range by like, like yeah. at yeah, least it's like 10 or 15. It's one of these squares radius. Okay. Yeah. It's not like a. No, the, it's not like a full AOE. What's the number I have to be? 17. 17. They both yes. fail. Hell yeah. Yay. Yay. Failure. Yeah. Um, Roll. So that. Well, uh, I just want to use my wand on something. Oh, you'll have ample opportunity. That's scary. The snake, I know. No. <laughs> Which one's its face? Not really. Which one's its face? I would assume oh, this, this guy. No. <laughs> no, he went in there ass first. <laughs> Let me back it Listen. up. I'll back in this video. You never know. Need a bag. Okay. Wobble bag. Huh? <laughs> 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 Alright. There's its face. <laughs> What'd you do? There's its oh, he, he's, got, he's got his own grove lover over there. He says, you said the snake and the person failed, correct? Yes. Okay, so they get different points of fire damage um they, they gain how much in fire and set okay um also i do have a question because it says as a bonus action i can move the spear up to 30 feet and if the if I ram the spear oh. into a creature, that creature has to take a saving throw against it. Feel free if you want to use your bonus oh, action for it. Inflation worked every time I would fall. I want to use my bonus action and okay. I want to, uh, I guess, move it and try and hit uh, the person at N15. I guess the guy who's supposed to be at like the head N15. of the snake. N15. Ah, God, this next level. This guy, yeah. That, yeah, is, yeah. that is a fail. You might kill it. Awesome. I guess I will... 2d6, that is 8 points of fire damage to that guy. You can, um, you can see that the two groven creatures that you stricken mm. with fire damage immediately fizzle and disintegrate onto the floor. Okay. So then, uh, awesome. And, and then go bye -bye. I guess because I love taking advantage of free actions, I want to scream at the top of my lungs, the weak to fire guys, oh, no, the plants, more. the weak to fire, more, yeah. bring out your matches, and then that's my the end of my turn. The weak to fire, oh, oh, okay. bring yeah, out the matches. 
Uh, after that, Clanton has nothing. Now, Ghost, it's your turn. Yeah. Um, I'd like to put my cloak up. And become Activate invisible. it. Yeah. Invisible. I believe you, you have. She's the, still. Uh, you have the range for that. Hmm? With her earring. She's not big anymore. Yeah. I'm not big anymore. I, 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 I'm sorry. It hasn't been super duper like it wasn't combat heavy last time, so I'm like, damn. I really made Valzir really sweat suffer. Out. Yeah. Did not make Ghost suffer. I appreciate it. Well, we win. Cool. <laughs> you uh, saw. You saw here, folks. They died. Uh, Ghost has now activated her cloak and now is invisible. Obviously, uh, her companions still like know the shimmer. So quite kind of quite a good uh, party trick you have there. Thanks. I fucking kill them. What do you do? Or actually, just don't burn out the body. As I see, I know when I see the bodies burn up, I'm like, no, please, no, no, please, no. no. My research. <laughs> so all what of these are, are you doing? The the only one, the only things that are actual buildings are like the tile. Uh, this is an awning, so like that's the gate underneath it. Um, but anything that you see that is a tent, you can walk under it. Okay. So have full view. So is this snakehead like that is right snakehead. up against the building? It's it's kind of just a general thing. Just just assume that it's just kind of like. I think you're gonna go. Oh no! What's on my side? research. My research. Well, like, God damn it! Then. No. Because like, that's exactly how Tibble sounds. <laughs> oh, well. Just. Research. <laughs> no, you fucking idiots. Don't. Whatever you do, please just don't destroy the bodies. You can <laughs> eviscerate them however you want. Just keep the bodies intact. Oh, so you like bones too? Nice. <laughs> Finally, no, somebody put it like no, that. No, he doesn't like bones. He likes with. corpses. Yes, yes. Whole bones. I would like to talk to Snake and ask it why it's attacking this place. This place shouldn't be. Attack. Shouldn't be. You knew I was gonna take the stake. You knew. I didn't know if you were gonna talk to the butt side or the head side. Talk to the butt side. That's why. Hey, you see, Oogly. We're trying to make an ass out of her. Okay. Hey. So, your question one more time. Why are you attacking this place? This place shouldn't be attacked. I did not think of a voice for the fucking snake. Well, it's mean, like some goofy ass voice. It's Ka. It's Ka from Jungle Book. <laughs> Please be a goofy Which is basically ass evil voice. Winnie the Pooh. That's basically what it is. What, what it's a, it's a that's what Ka is. That's how, that's how, that's how, that's how Jim <laughs> Cummings ba- based Ka. Because it's a fucking snake. That's a fucking not even a real snake. At the end of the day, everything shall be yours. That's a fucking good Winnie the Pooh, actually. <laughs> Didn't even add like a. At the end of the day. Or like like. I more hits. And like the Harry Potter. At the end of the day. Hello, father. Everything shall be yours. Or be like, what's the Shall be yours. Make sure you put your lips out while like if you like your tongue out. Why my big fucking lips out? That's that's two. That's two, everyone. Hope we keep you nuts. It's like in Harry Potter when David Tennant's like. <laughs> um, I want to say that I'm, I'm part of the white the man, and I was told that this place wouldn't be touched. Oh, I see his way to throw. It's like so far. What is it? I don't know. What is the <laughs> name? Fun Daddy! Um Everything sound yeah. You need to fit like the David Tennant thing with three pottery goes. That's why no, I truly love David Tennant. At the end of the day. <laughs> Everything <laughs> shall be green. <laughs> okay, Skeletor. 
<laughs> I was I was thinking more <laughs> Gilbert. <Gilbert-Gosford. laughs> at, at the end of the day, everything shall be yours. <laughs> As you say the name, Ardoff. That's what lowly individual matters very little to the great flood. Is this old brother where is this, is this Halo? <laughs> is this Halo? Did I fucking wish it was? <laughs> Please don't, don't make it, it, I can make it better than the show. Please don't put the flood in this game. Okay. Don't put the flood. Please don't, don't put, put the flood. flood. Have you seen with the girl from? Excuse me? No, oh, yeah, I forgot. <laughs> Subconscious, yeah. Uh, I thought of Oh Brother Roar at the very end where the like flood. Like the read. <laughs> That's all I thought about. <laughs> Wait, no copyright. Sorry. Yeah, no copyright. I'll give you a second. I'll give you a second. You see our cow on the roof of a cotton house. I need to oh, I need to see that movie. Again. I almost did I almost did a book report on that movie. That I was in a Roll a history check to see if I was in a literature and film class. If you know, you know like literature and film you know, but if you don't history check. And for my final project I almost did the Odyssey and Oh Brother We're All Down. But but instead I did Treasure Island and Treasure Planet. Oh 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 oh, oh the Baron. I love the Baron. If you know you the know Baron. the Baron. The Baron. The Baron. If you know well the Baron know. told Ardoff, and Ardoff told me. Treasure Planet is awesome. It's my favorite. Treasure Planet is amazing. It is okay. my okay. Absolute All right. favorite. We found, it. we found it. We found it. We found it. We found it. So you tell, <laughs> say say that one again. The Baron told Ardoff, and Ardoff told me to tell you that you are. The Baron and I have quite the understanding. What a chance. Walk away. I'm telling you, this place should not be destroyed right now. And that came from higher up. Does that end your turn? Uh, yeah, corporate call. Said, <laughs> said you can't do that. <laughs> um, I'm gonna have to With a blank stare, you can almost see that the dripping of blood on its fangs begins to like crease as its fanged mouth begins to turn into a smile. As you can see, like different branches and vines growing out of its eyes and forehead. Lugeo, it is your turn. Hello. <laughs> so, um, the one note that you take. No. Can you point to Lugeo? Yes, Lugeo, you are all the way down here. At, yes. the end, at the end of my pinky. Uh-huh. Are you so wanting to go in? In, and the, just... in, in, in front of you, you have Day, Sonaris, Sage. And a, and a door, a gate door, bl- bl- blocking you from going to the other side here, right behind Tybalt. We're in the most inopportune place ever. Cool. You can go through the tents. You can, yeah, you can go through the tents. These are Ani's. You can go, you can go through those. You, okay. Okay. Hey, Lugeo. Hey, Lugeo. Hey, Lugeo. Hey, how do you, uh, how many, how much movement do you have? 30 feet. 30 feet. Do you want to get to like the closest grove you can? Yes, please. I would. So that would be this guy. How far away is that? Count feet? Uh, if she's going it's through 20, the awning. 30, it's yeah, like, yeah. She's 30 feet away on the dot. If she goes straight forward, if she goes around, it'll be a longer trek. Do you want to take half of your movement to squeeze to go for a more direct path forward? Can I? Yeah, you can. Will I have to do acrobatics? You don't have to. It's, don't just, have it's to. just half your movement. But if you want to, okay. ri- but if you want to risk it for the biscuit, yeah, acrobatics. Okay. 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 Uh, I think you cut out for a second. I'm sorry. If you if you want to risk it for the biscuit and not lose your movement, 
you can roll acrobatics. I'll risk it. All oh, right, acrobatics. Oh, shoot. Oh, I'll risk it. Okay. Let's see. Ba -ba 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 abilities, acrobatics. Is this just this one? Oh, shit. Okay. <laughs> that is a seven. A seven. You are able to squeeze through uh, right behind Tibble. However, you do trip on the door and get snagged a little bit uh, by Sonaris's, um big sword. So you are falling <laughs> on your face. Prone. That's what they call it. Okay. God damn it. <clears throat> like, we're, like right here? Like she's still something. Like... Does she fall into Tibble? Behind Tibble. Behind. So, so like right there, so, right so here. When she falls, she doesn't so she's pr so she's prone. Mm -hmm. okay. She's prone behind me. Yes. You look back. Yeah, like, like two. Nat, two. It would be it would be not one material if uh, if. Yeah, if she she would ran into me, I look behind me. Dear, <laughs> why are you laying on the ground at a time like this? Well, she, remember, she is hanging. She, she is hung up. And I just pull up my middle finger and, like, shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you, you were you were <laughs> hung over, so... Like, nice. like, exactly. It, it makes sense. Sir. It makes sense. <laughs> uh, <laughs> while, I'll reanimate your corpse so fast, buddy while, boy. While, while, she can still do actions prone, right? It's just, like, at this mm, at, No, not really. She can't, like, swipe. I, I, I figured It's that. pretty much she used her movement. She can use the rest of her movement to get up. If she has any. Honestly, yeah. Yeah, you used half your movement to, like, squeeze through. You use can, the other you, half to get up. You can use the other half to get back up so you're not prone and ready to attack when it's your turn again. Can I do that? Yes. Yeah, sure thing. Okay, so not so, prone. Yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, I believe now that you're up, if you can cast anything at range, you still have your action. She's right behind. Yeah, yeah, you. Yeah, I'm right behind. You got a little bit of space. Yeah, you don't have to have like no. You don't have to have perfect. So essentially, what's going to happen is beh behind me and Sage, everything else has uh, you, more than likely three quarters cover. Yeah. So be, be, because as well the the so you the just bump their AC by the, whatever. The snake now. is there as well. Yeah, I go with always like because I don't know how you do it. Three quarters, mm -hmm. I add plus three to AC. Yeah. Half, I do two. It, it, it's it's a higher AC. Yeah. So you can try. If you have a ranged attack, or if you want to try to throw a fucking axe, you can. It's just going to be a higher AC to hit. Okay. Um, fucking intricate with this combat. Hell yeah. I'm just trying to get them to leave. I just want to use it. Yeah. <laughs> I do. They are not. <laughs> Notice it's not attack. I'm going to kill this one. Yeah, I know. Out. <laughs> like that's victory enough. I don't know what I could cast. If you um, can't, if you don't have any ranged spells, you know you've done it before. You can throw your axes if you so choose. What if I hit you though? I'm, I'm sorry. If you hit me, hit me. That's the right. I, I will say as a suggestion, it, this counts as your action, but you can swap between your force revenge that you have now, which does poison damage, which which is useless against the grove to the other okay. axe that you have that comes back to you. Right, um... Your axe, oh, your, your yeah. axe, the uh, axe of the exile. Axe of the exile, I'll switch that out. I'll switch that out, Okay, yeah. so you'll use your action yeah. to... Put, switch, yeah. yeah to, to, to switch forest's revenge for this super sick-ass <laughs> fucking lightning axe with, like, a whole bunch of, like, Intricate, like in like in broiderment. She goes full Natalie Portman right here. Yeah, it's Stormbreaker. I, uh, yo, I am post Ragnarok Thor. <laughs> uh, it is now the Snake's turn. What's I a would, silly, silly I snake? I would like for the snake <laughs> to turn its gaze oh, from ghost. Or at least the sounds of ghosts, as it looks towards <laughs> the abomination of nature himself, something that is not even supposed to exist, and uh, it is a front to everything natural. It's me. Slither to Glanton. Is this <laughs> 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 
Hey, baby mama, let me leave it to you. <laughs> uh, I would like you to roll a uh, strength saving throw for me, please. Strength saving throw. Danny, here's a good question. Yes. Is its entire body its hitbox? Yes. The whole... How many <clears throat> how many squares is it currently covering them? You you decide. I mean, it's what it's whatever squares it's on. I'll say if you had to, it's, it's probably a well, what is Alex, it like Alex seventy foot snake, eighty foot snake? Alex is like you decide how you want it. To how big the is the snake? It's a. I don't know if it's like to scale. Uh, I would say it's probably roughly maybe a fifteen. Uh, that's a sixteen DM. Sixteen. It's sixty. It's a sixty yeah, it's roughly. A 60. If I'm just making a guesstimate. Even with all your strength, mm. you are constricted. Yeah. Oh no. Mm-hmm. 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 And it is going it's to fun. move. It's constrict. Squeeze. It's okay. gonna let you go. <laughs> I felt bad for you. Now you just you will let me go. <laughs> <laughs> like a fucking giga chad. Explode out of it. Okay. Uh, Mr. Glanton does a 23 hit. It does. It does? Yeah. You are going to take... I guess technically... And, and, and I'm assuming this is the right kind of damage type for it. Piercing. 18 bludgeoning damage? Is it biting him? It or is constricting? Constricting. It would be bludgeoning. That would be bludgeoning. Bludgeoning, yeah. So 18 bludgeoning damage. As well as, this again. Does it twenty three hit? It does. <clears throat> oh yeah, it's what that is. Nice. Uh oh. Are those poison bags? You're immune to poison, aren't you? I am. Well, well, I'm actually not. Yeah. You don't have veins for it, of course. No, no, I don't, I don't have veins. Uh, I think I, I'm used. I'm, I think I have resistance to poison. Actually, okay, so you have like half. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. Yeah, I have, Otherwise, well, I, I have advantage up. against being poisoned. That, that's, Got that, that's, you. Okay. With a bite on your chest, you are going to take a total of seven acid damage. Seven. Okay. For its full attack. Gets three fucking attacks. Does a 19 hit? It does not. It does not. You can feel it constricting again, but your your metal form does not give way. Day, it is your turn. I'm going to cast Dust Devil. Oh God, Where? <laughs> it's 60 feet away, so I mean. Uh, let me give you um, my video. Five, ten. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty. Actually, I'm probably Yeah, yeah hit, hit, here, here it is, Alex. Put it, like, I, right I, here. I have advantage on saving throws against being poisoned. I have resistance against poison damage. Here's the dust double. I, and I am and I'm immune to disease. That that's that's what that's what dust double spawn in the middle. Uh, That's what I do. Yeah. If you have this bonus action, you can Misty Step up into combat. That's what I'm gonna do. So, cast your Misty Step. Five, ten, where do you want to go? Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty. You get right here. Alright. And you have your movement still. I've been eating here for the past three hours, you know. Oh, okay. okay, she's gonna stay right there. Okay. That's where she put Dust Devils, her action. But, yeah. Misty Step was her bonus. Uh-huh. There. Yeah. Does the Dust Devil do anything once it's already planted? Or it, was it, if I remember correctly, anything that ends its turn near the Dust Devil immediately takes damage. Ends its turn within five feet, the Dust Devil must make a strength uh, save. Okay. On a fail, it takes 1d8 bludgeoning damage and is pushed 10 feet. On successful save, it's half damage and isn't pushed. And my bonus action, and I her, can move it. Yeah, around. bonus action, she can move it 30 gotcha. feet in any direction. Yep. Not is, a, is that ending your turn? Mm-hmm. Okay, gotcha. Uh, after that, Sonorix! Okay, cool. <clears throat> um, let's see. You can go under that tent. You can go under the tent? Yeah. The blue, yeah. Okay. 
So if you need to make don't your way around. Again, again, I don't think I can again, get to, my, to, get to the if, snake if, one if you guys have access to the long B map, Maybe. you're in front of the gate. You're technically in the market. Yes. I'm gonna follow you. That's what that's going to do. I'm gonna follow you. You wouldn't. Yeah, um, no but you could honestly oh. make your way towards there and then kind of just carve your way through. Yeah. You can make it to that first row. Yeah, yeah. Probably just this area. Okay. Okay. Yeah, attack this one first. Okay. Yeah. I want to kill the snake. Kill the snake. The slippery snake. Oh, by the way, uh, the, the creation of the snake. Cool. Okay. Am I last in the issue? Yeah, I'm gonna run to the back. I'll be right back. You're good. You're good. Attack one was a 27. 27 to hit. Just grab your kill. Oh, that was a 10. Just grab your kill. Just any, any point of damage. You're a level it? 12 against a shitty grub. Describe your kill. Yeah, we're such high uh, levels. Uh, I mean, I just fucking walk up to it. Or I run up to it and I fucking just chop it in half. Okay. Like as, as, you, as you chop it in half with Listen, such I force, feel... leave it like a stick of butter. So you can was... see that the top half of the body. So it's here, right? Mm -hmm. like here. Five, seven, 15, 20. 25. Oh, I only get 25 feet. Mm -hmm. Yeah, an feet. extra five feet. 20 feet. feet. Fuck me. Holy oh, shit. Okay, well, I'll just take an extra Do step. Okay. Move an extra step closer. Thank you. Okay, does that end your turn? Yeah. Fly mm -hmm. in. Yes. Your turn, mm -hmm. <laughs> what do you do? Can I try to break free? What would I have to do to try and break? Strength save. You're, you're you're basically trying to beat a grapple. I'm trying to beat a yeah, grapple. Yeah, make a strength save yeah, on it. It's, it's mm -hmm. going to be a high grapple because the snake's entire body is invested in holding it down. Okay. I want to Freddie Mercury in here. I want to break free. All right. So strength, so strength saving throw then. Yep. I thought, I was about to like, oh, yeah. I was so about man. to keep like, so ass in a minute. I'm trying to math. Um, yo, 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 yo. What was it? I, I'm trying to math right now. You're, you're, you're good. What's the numbers? Uh, 12 plus 9 plus a proficiency of 4. 21, 25. 25? 25. 25. I was thinking it was like 26 or 25. Or you are able, not, not your entire body, but you're able to get your arm with Oak Lodge's memory out. You're one handed. Okay. So so if you have a versatile stat on there, you're not using the versatile stat. I don't think I'm versatile. Versatile is when you're two handed or something. No, Versailles means you can do one hand or two no, yeah. Oh, yeah, if it's possible to do one handed or two hand. Of course, that has Versailles. It usually gives you like stuff. the, do, the difference it? between the damage. It does, yeah. Uh, okay, so, so, so one would be one hand or it, one hand. Yeah, yeah it, it, I, I apparently can both one hand and two hand, and two hand this because it doesn't have a Versailles set on it. Okay, gotcha. Cool. Okay, yeah, go ahead. Never mind. So, so like, mm -hmm. after that, so that strength save was not my action? Or. I'll count, I'll count that as your action. But again, you have multiple action. actions. All right. I, I, well, I have two. Sorry, yeah. I have two attacks per per action. Yeah. You have you have one. I have one action, I have one yeah, action but two attacks. That, that took up the whole act. Oh, yeah. yeah. That, that would have. So, so, so that yeah. That, you so, broke out. Cool. You're you're here. That's um, what. Um, does it stop you from both? Well, they don't like you either. Um, yeah. Damn. Right. <laughs> what is action rate? I'm anti vegan. Make it steamy. I'm a, a smoke. I'm, I'm a I would like to rage. People eat Like imagine, yeah. I would like to rage. <laughs> Can God you get it. off me, please? Give me some space. I cannot. Yeah. I cannot do this while you're looking at me. Yeah. Please. Glenn, Don't look at me. Yeah, Glanton's Glenn, Glenn, gonna rage. <laughs> Say the line. I know. Say the line with billowing smoke and glowing orange from his chassis. <laughs> Chassis, his chussy. His chussy. <laughs> Rage mode, Harry's babe. His chussy. Not his chussy. <laughs> 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 
Chat. Chassis. Chassis. Yeah, it's a chassis. It's a chassis. Glanton's chassis steams. That's that does not sound right at all. <laughs> John's like, does I'm going to hide. I'm Does that end your turn? It does. <laughs> Please don't ever <laughs> say that again. Let me just activate my chassis. <laughs> Big chussy right. energy. Next, <laughs> next, next, next is the Grove. Okay. I'm going to ask for. Honestly, because because I I sort of separated the Grove into like two mm-hmm. groups. Honestly, because they all be, they 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 all have a movement other than the back one of thirty feet. All of them towards you. Okay, and any a full thirty? They're full thirty. Okay, so are they gonna support Snake? No, they're all going towards Mini Party. Uh, so what if, what if one of them like re- reaches one of them like that? Did yeah, they're, say they're that? that's 15, 20, 25, 30. Uh, make sure they, make sure they do as well go towards you know Sage the Gate. Would they go towards Dust Devil? No. Oh no. 10, 15, 20, 25, Five, 30. 10, 15, 20, 25. I put the Dust Devil. Five, in the 10, 15, to know. 20, 25. That one, that one, will leave it farther, like near the J, J seven. J7. Thank you. J7. Oh, yeah. sorry, sorry, G7. My bad. Can you alphabet? I have not been practicing. Okay. He does not know his ADC. I do. I actually don't fucking <laughs> the count. So then, oh, next time, <laughs> just don't sing with him. Oh, God. <laughs> um, day. Uh-huh. Funny question now, considering that you yeah. are wearing the entire Veil Ring yeah, armor set. Literally. Oh shit. Does an 18 hit? Nope. Amazing. Um my AC is 20. Does fuckers. a 20 hit? Oh no, it does. I don't think it think so. I think okay. it does. I could yes. be wrong. Tybalt. Also, can you can you wear the whole set? Mm-hmm. I'm usually wearing it's like isn't it like one or two pieces of armor and then like accessories? It's, it's four. Like, I four like pieces four of pieces of armor. Hel- Helmets, gauntlets, breastplate, boots. I'm wearing it, it's it's kind armor. of like dusting style. Okay. Yeah, um, I'm wearing a whole Tybalt. ass armor. Where, where, where the full? I, I thought I, I didn't think you could wear that. Uh, Tybalt does a 18 hit. No, it does. It does. Okay. Where, where, where the full armor and you get and you get uh, like an armor bonus. Dude, my, there's a six level spell I have that is fucking. They, That's insane. They actually had that sort of mechanic in, in Assassin's Creed Valhalla, like wearing uh, a full with entire, a full with entire a set. Sword whip, you take thirteen poison damage. Your fucking PC sucks. And can I roll a concentrate or a constitution to see if I get poison? Go ahead. Yeah, my bad. That's a nineteen. You're good. Now. Cool. I'm all poison. And Sonaris, a grove actually projectile vomits Dummy. on your face, but like filled with moss and swine. You have to like wipe off like you're a little like, now. like a little. <laughs> you're like, you're like, awake now. <laughs> no longer hung over. Seventeen poison. Constitution saving throw to your poison. Damn, dude. Um, fuck that. Fuck that. They do be hitting though. He just walks up. Grabs the face. Oh, ah. <laughs> I just want to know that you're really pretty. <laughs> Constitution save. Yes. Uh, 18. 18. You are not poisoned. You're just really gross out. I rolled a 9. I got an 18. Tybalt. My turn. First. Uh, yeah, here we go. First, 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 uh, first action with Tybalt. Baby's first, baby's first, baby's first combat. Baby's wand. first combat. You, so you pull out your wand. I'll cast Phantasmal Killer at 6th level. <laughs> fucking Christ! It's, it's the fucking... <laughs> on TikTok. <laughs> Actually, so I don't waste that. I'll cast Phantasmal Killer at... 4th level. Okay, okay, a little conservative. That's fine. <laughs> That's fine. I look at it, I look at it, and I hold my hand to my wand. And my eyes glow, the shimmering, kind of iridescent. Ooh. And in like a voice that almost is like thaumaturgy where it makes a boom. What do you fear? 
that's that same base that you that everybody almost felt with like the snake rumbling through the city. You can feel that in your in your chest when Tibble speaks. You, feel it in your you can see tibble. that his <laughs> eyes are almost glowing on fire with this iridescent glow and the cracking of his wand sort of peeking through the bone. And I'll cast Phantasmal Killer. They need to make a wisdom save on this one in front of me. Three. Yeah, fails hard. Fuck that. Um, so it feels its deepest, darkest fears that only it can see. Okay. And I imagine it's the person that it once was has mm-hmm. it seen that. Um, they become frightened for it, it lasts up to a minute on my concentration. Okay. So they become frightened, so they'll try to move away from me as much as they can, as long as they are frightened. So, so, again, you're doing this to a grove, and again, phantasmal killer, phantasmal killer makes them see their Their worst nightmares, their worst fear, and you're doing this to a grove. Because you're casting it at such a high level, not only are you able to see an actual like change in this grove where they were like monsters or whatever. You can see almost its eyes have a little bit of more motor control. As if it's almost the person, the the host Mm -hmm. itself. No, please. Don't put me back there. Um, It's going to take 4d10 psychic damage. 4d10 psychic? I mean, um, as as soon as it realizes the horror that is already in. What the This fuck? is its nightmare. And he wants to get himself out of it. With a swift, almost like a lobotomy, I just dig the what? wand deeper with like the glow. <laughs> what the fuck is and I start like, the smile I had grows wider where it's like seeing my teeth bare. Fucking god. And I he's, draw. He's doing straight up crucio on this man. Yeah, yeah. literally. Holy and fuck. This man is absolutely monstrous right now. Jesus. I break it away and I see the body drop. I point to it. That one, and my voice is still booming. That one's mine. I. Which one? This one. <laughs> Which one is it? You kill it. Which means that the flames under your eyes disappear. It drops from it. I'm like, I look at Yo, what I did. that was badass. <laughs> Yo, this man's got skills. I look at everyone. I look at everyone in my vicinity. And I'm like, generally everybody except Glanton. That one heard you. Does everybody know that Glanton is over there being attacked by a snake? <laughs> Under perception check. I mean, I mean, it's a snake. The but we watch the big ass. So to Gayo and Sage right? being the ones that are behind me, and you see me go like full beast mode with this, and I draw and I say that one's mine, and the voice into my eyes lose their glow. Does that I, I does that end like, your turn? That was fucking amazing. Bonus action. Oh my. Go give the guy. That bones. wasn't even. That wasn't even the end of the if turn. If you got any bones, let me have some afterwards. <laughs> No, 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 no you know, demons anymore in day. Still about them bones. Oh, she has an obsession with bones. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's not, that's, that's not that's not pyro anymore. That's are they? Do they count as undead? Yes. Shit. Okay, then I can't grim harvest. I can't ah. get HP back from them. Ah, you fool! That's what you think, you fool. Um. Just making sure. Yeah, that was my actual. That was my action. With my movement, I'm gonna go up more. Five, ten, climbing over the body. Fifteen, and go right up. To, I'm gonna go right next to. I'll keep that one to the side. Keep go right up next to Sonaris, and I look at him. I'm like, remember to keep the body intact, boy. And I and I'm ready. I'll <laughs> think about. Bet. But, you know. And then I just. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a promise. Okay. Does that end your turn? That ends my turn. At the top of the turn order, you're able to hear, you know, more screams. However, the screams are not coming from, you know, running away from the battle, but instead coming 
towards it. There are a few Longinian citizens who are not afraid to stand up against the horrors of the grove. Don't be dumb. <laughs> A1 is going to be at V10. A1, should we go? He's the shop guy. A1, he's, he's the magic shop guy. Okay. V10, right next to... Yeah. Right next to Snake Ass. Goroz, which is the nice. smithy. The, 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 the half orc, the half orc smithy. Yeah, yeah, the the, the half orc like armor or um, He is going to be at eleven. Uh, Tion, the Leonin uh, blacksmith. He is as well going to be the. U11? Also right next to Snake Ass. A currently unnamed elderly individual. Why did you look at Sean? He said that. Was, was that. was that not Bragger from the White Fields? Or is that something? Uh, he is look going to. He is soul. going to move towards. N13. And everybody's favorite V is going to come around behind Sage. Oh, is this an enemy or support? Support, support is V. Support, it's V. This okay, guy, this tight, guy, tight, so tight. this guy's V. Okay, right. tight. So, Aelin, mm-hmm. uh... Uh, get the the half orc armor I forget what his I already forgot what his name is uh, the the Leon the Leon, the Leonin blacksmith uh, uh, an, an elderly strong man that we haven't seen before and V right back here uh, and as they come in to reinforce more grove more grove come in oh. from the entrance just. Oh, no. the like, this is an awning so they can be in yeah, here, right? Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> Sage, you are first. Okay. Um. Oof. Okay. Has anyone done any damage on the snake other than me and Glenn? No. 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 I haven't even done any uh, damage at all. Awesome. I'm gonna cast... You, you gave him chussy damage. No, just, we we we, all, we already uh, ha- we already have one so joke. We I already have one joke about Glancy. I'm sorry. We already have one joke about Glancy. We don't need it. We don't need it. We don't need another one. Uh, Sage, don't forget this tiled part. That's a roof. That's a building. You can't shoot through that. Oh, pish posh. Uh, pish posh. I just burned the whole building down. I don't listen. Whatever I can do to kill the snake fastest. Um, cool. Well, then I'm going to take... <sighs> so you're right here at the end of my pinky. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. I, I am... You got some guys come. got some guys coming in over here also. Yeah. And this guy is hiding now? Or, or was he supposed to be gone? I think he's gone. He's gone? Okay. Um. Daddy, I don't know what to do. Um. I would would say. Again, uh, in in our one-on-one, remember that Sage sort of has two different goals. Using your high movement to sort of pop heels from one person to another, and. When in doubt, firebolt. Yeah, I, I, uh, I am just a little duck because my ranged attack can only do so much damage. I would say, uh, I would say, because you as well have your gun, and you have high movement, have you can just straight up use the tents to get up onto the roof to have a high vantage point on everyone. 
I get up on the roof, that is a whole ass action, though, right? I'm, I'm gonna make that be a whole ass action to get you like onto there because you're gonna have to do um, acrobatics checks. Or could I potentially spend a key point to do something fun? I know. Key points. I can use a key point to take the disengage or dash action as a bonus action on my turn. And my jump distance is doubled for the turn. Mm-hmm. Okay. That, that's, using you know your, that's using your monk stuff, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, you can gonna, technically do that, yeah. I want to spend a key point and fucking backflip onto this <laughs> room. Um, with, with unnecessary flair, you, you, you push down with great disciplined force. All right, where, where is she landing there, Dan? Uh, Q... Uh, 16. I should be, like, next around. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Put a die there, so, so you're okay. elevated, elevated at least slightly. Yes. So, that counts as my bonus action. Did you use that key point to do that? Yes. Okay, because if, um, if I'm not mistaken... Key points counts as action. Keep, no, th- th- you have a specific thing where you can use a key point as a mm-hmm. bonus action. Mm-hmm. So, you technically have your regular action still. I do. That's yeah. why I was like trying to double check and talk it out. Um, which is perfect because now I want to cast Firebolt okay. um, on the snake. Okay. Right, roll the hit. And then damage. Roll to hit. So, on the snake, like that's just, just, that's that's not a wave, is it? No, firebolt is a direct. Okay. Okay. Cool. It's a direct hit, and trust me, Glanton, I will make sure that I do not hit you. Unlike something. It is. It's a plus nine to hit, and when when, when, when the bar is set, you move right on fire. Eight, eight. 18, does an 18 hit the snake? <laughs> an 18 does hit the snake. Awesome, so that's 10 fire damage to the snake. Okay. Um, and... Oof. Um, I don't really think I have any other patience that I can do. You, you, you did something pretty spectacular, so I, I, think, you yes, might, I... You think you might be fizzled out. Yeah. I'm good. That's uh, it. You, That's my whole turn. You, I flip you, have off an, you, you have an amazing vantage point, so you can do some crazy shit. Um, Ghost. It is you. Okay. I would like to get closer to the snake. I don't know how I can do that. You are invisible. Um, again, half your movement, so you don't. Uh, you don't. So, 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 like, you can squeeze in between the people just, like, riding against the wall? Yes. I'm gonna cast just a true strike. Okay. Do you even know what it means again? Uh, it, it's pretty much just, you know, everything about it. Right? Yeah. Okay. The snake is immune to poison and acid. Cool. It's good to know, because... Yeah. It's AC. Same thing with the grow. It's the grow name. It's HP. In total, one twenty-five. What does it mean? Minus seventy. Um. You can tell that it has two main attacks. However, you don't know. Mm-hmm. Like, you can clearly see it being able to constrict the light. Um, you can tell that it is fast, and it is nimble, so it can be, it, it has to have a super high dance. You put your hands on the shingles. No. And you, and you can feel the shingles sort of begin to 
Mm-hmm. No upper body strength. Sage, are you not helping me? <laughs> Sage, <laughs> I'm about to fall here. <laughs> okay, what what is uh what are you doing right now? Uh, are you tra- jumping off the roof? She is trying, trying to, to climb on up the onto the she's roof. Try- she's trying to get on the roof. But I rolled an eight and I'm about to fall. <laughs> Ooh, okay. Um, oh. shit. So, I don't have any... Okay, yeah. here... No, 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 wait. I have, I have a thing. I have a thing. Uh, can I use Flash of Genius? Uh... Oh my god, wait. When you, no, wait, wait. Let me explain. When you or another creature, uh, you can see within 30 feet of you makes an ability check or a saving throw, you can use your reaction to add plus five to your goal. Is that allowed? You can, it is a you can absolutely do that because that is a reaction. So 13. Yeah, I'm so good at D&D. 13. You're doing a basic pull-up. Okay, You yeah. save yourself from the slipping shingle. In fact, the shingle sort of like falls off and you're able to catch it. You're you are now on the edge of the roof. Okay. You too. You two are just amazing partners. <laughs> we are the fucking so I'm that was an- Next up is the Gayo. Hey. Okay. Where's the closest grove? The closest Ugh. grove is there. Sick. Okay. Um, I want to. Make my movement over there. Feel and, free. Yes. Yes, and you know, <laughs> go for the head. Ah, hey, yes. Hey. Roll to hit. Oh, hey, very good. Roll the head. Very good. Hey. What are you doing? Uh, okay. Support. Found it. It's a your your hit DC is a plus nine. So whatever you roll to your hit, add a plus nine to it. Jesus Christ. Ah, Jesus mother okay. of God. Yeah, that's eighteen. Is an eighteen hit? Uh, yeah. Describe your kill. Oh my God. Okay, so I go for the head, and um, so little, silly little thing. I go for the head. I do this thing. You know, right? just girl stuff. I'm so. <laughs> I guess I'm just quirky um, like that. Yeah. So <laughs> I'm just a quirky white like girl. Um, <laughs> different. <laughs> I'm different. Yeah. I'm not like like your. I'm not I'm other. Not I'm like other I'm not like girl. other Goliaths. I'm, I'm alive. Other girls. And I'm alive. <laughs> uh, d- what else do you do for your turn? Love. Oh, that's right. If I said love. Um, I'm like yes. Add your bonus sh- for sure. You can literally I- just go to the next one. Yeah, I was gonna say, like, I have another action, right? Um, can I, like, go to the next one? Yeah, sure. Yeah, let me, uh, let me cleave these fuckers. I'm assuming you're going to roll to hit as well. Uh, can I? Yeah. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh, no, she's I really hamming it up now. No, I created a monster. You started firing. 14, 14 plus 9. I mean... Describe your kill like uh, again. Yeah. <laughs> this is in hell. The this fuck is... does this sound like work? Wait, did she, did she, <laughs> Welcome she, to Garden of Dawn. She moved up the head. Right. Uh, we have a okay. silly. Little... That yeah. sounds like me when I ring up customers. Really? That is so amazing. Uh, <laughs> Sean, you were just like, I want to die. I fake laugh at the like shot so much I forget heel. how my real one sounds. Oh. And it sounds like what I sound like at work. work. Sonaras, let me swing my little sword at this snake. I'm living in the best life. I'm the gayest friend. She's thriving. I'm assuming that ends your turn. Hashtag girl boy. Yes. I'm <laughs> screaming for the roots. I'm <laughs> screaming for the roots. You're doing great, sweetie. You're doing great. You're doing great, sweetie. You're doing fantastic. Uh, next up is the snake. Oh. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> That took a dark. <laughs> that took a dark. Oh, so the next one is going to continue to strip. Um, instead of continuing to constrict Glanton, yeah. it is going to do a swiping strike with its tail. No. With its tail against the uh, the Longbeanian NPCs, or which are which are, if I am not mistaken. Uh, Goraz and Aelin. Right here? Yep. Which Aelin fails, Goraz succeeds. Swipe. I need to 
Aelin is going to be pushed back to... Yeah, pushed back 10 feet. And is going to take 12 bludgeoning damage. He is as well prone. Oh, him or her? Aelin. Aelin is... And Aelin's a dude. Aelin's a dude. So a- which a- one's Aelin? A- a- yeah, Aelin... Is- is the this uh, is uh, Aelin is the uh, okay. w- wizard? Uh, what was it? The magic shop. Yeah, the magic shop. The guy with the guy with the scroll. Okay. Okay. Turning back toward Gwangun, does a twenty-one hit? Yep. <laughs> For all the viewers, <laughs> snake bait, snake bait. Another bite onto your chassis. 19 is the damage. Chassis. It's chassis. just. <laughs> I'm not saying it. I'm, I, I didn't say it this time. You gotta say it with your chassis, Danny. Oh my god. <laughs> Sean! Sean is so lost! I, I will quit right now. <laughs> Sean's so lost. He's just in a long time. I hear you, man. <laughs> oh, I'm on fucking fire. Glanton, you as well feel it constricting on your body. Strength save. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Strength saving throw. <laughs> okay. Oh my god, I'm sorry, Sean. <laughs> No, I'm sorry, Nate. I'm sorry, Nate's everybody. Having a... Twenty-nine. Twenty-nine. In in sort of like in a in a moment of weakness of it trying to constrict you again, you're able to move your <laughs> leg. So now, pretty much, your full like oh, right sorry. side is free from. It's great. Great. So now you have a little bit more mobility. Awesome. Day. Yeah. It is your turn. All right. <clears throat> I'm going to fireball. Fireball. Oh shit. Ball? Fire something. Hold on. Ball. Fireball. Ball, Ball be the <laughs> be, be the bad kind. Fireball. 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 I thought I had fireball, fireball. in here. I'm pretty sure. Please, please tell me it That's is That's a 150 feet range. Click on it. Yeah. Honey, honey, that's a 20 foot radius. That's a big old fucking square. <laughs> of, course so, it, of, of course it would be Sarah. That would be fascinating. It's by that, fireball. It's right. that big. I'll do, fi- well, firebolt's 120 feet. That's uh, distance. As, as far as its range goes. Yes. But it's a one little flick hit. This is how big of a radius. All right, I'll just do. I'll just do a fucking firebolt. Bolt. Yeah. Bolt is this. Okay, bolt. You're right in front of one. You'll get disadvantage if you shoot that close. If you shoot anything farther, you'll you won't have to shoot with disadvantage. I'll shoot one farther. Shoot that one. Yep. Okay. It's a cantrip. Roll the hit. I guess I roll four. Yep. It's a ranged attack. Roll the hit. Plus four. Yep. Roll. That's an eight. Was an eight? Dice gel. Even with even with the firebolt, an eight. Oh, it's good because I want this. I want that one on that, so I'm not gonna. Oh, that was a nat one. No, is it, I just want to see if it was any better on like the. Oh, oh okay, gotcha. Or that. No, she rolled an eight. Yeah. Does that actually hit? I didn't think that lot low of ACs. It's a. It's not an instant kill. Roll damage. Damage. Okay, three d ten. Half it. I didn't know. I was looking at like I was looking at my feet here. Yeah. Like, yeah. Since I have a bit more mobility, if the snake attacks the other guy, so will this be able to come to play? Ten. Fifteen, half fifteen, right up. Seven. If you want to do a half damage on it, seven. Seven. Yeah. You can see that uh, the arm of the one that you shot falls off. Nice. Um, and for my bonus action, I'm going to move the dust devil. Where, where are you moving? If you do it, you do it right here. That's what I was gonna do. Uh, this this guy no, that's an ally. This, this guy is an ally. Yeah. No, I didn't know they're all not painted. All right, so put it like. I didn't know. Put it like right. Those, that's there. also an ally. God damn it! All right, we're gonna put it over there. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Is there like a ring that I can put around? Yeah, allies? basically, because I don't want to get yeah, confused um, and kill uh, someone on accident. A yellow one. I don't want to kill somebody on accident. Charmed or deafened? Just anything yellow. 
anything yellow. That way, I can not have to kill anybody. We that need I know. four. If I'm not mistaken. I already know the one uh, prone is right, ours. Somebody else get charmed. Well, I get charmed. I, Some with this charmed. combat, no one's ever going to be injured. You're good. All right, that's what I'm going to do. Okay, gotcha. Right. It is actually the long beans. Uh, v is going to, and we have one. We have one. Yes, yeah, so that's our. Yeah. But, 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 but he's prone at the moment. So, uh, V is going to move forward to the grove that's near day. Right here. Ooh. Rogue V. <laughs> Falls. Nice. Thanks, bud. Uh, Tion, that guy, the Leonin, with his giant, massive warhammer, dead. The elderly human sees the grove over here. Sonaris, make a perception check. Does my passive not enough? Oh, yeah, what's your, what's your passive? 17. 17. You see this old man from the distance. Through, mm-hmm. like, the, 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 the smoke and the fires and the, the glistening of the dawn, you can see him sort of looking at him from his back. You see that he pulls out a fireball. And throws it at me. <laughs> at J14. Yeah. No, I'm not mistaken. In the alchemy book that I wrote for Sage, it has the stats for the firebomb. Yes, yeah, so right where my friend is with the where it lands. So mm-hmm. like that's two of Bucks and ours. No one. Just action movie sequence. No one. It's encyclopedia. Every, everything goes in slow motion. Just. Ow. <laughs> that grove on I something. And. Dead. Or. The and and the other grove that's right there. Yeah. Sonaris and Tybalt. Dex checks. Dex, uh, if I may ask, the, the gro- the gro- can I put my body in front of Sonaris? Dex. So the Grove, Tybalt, and me. Sonaris all have to do Dex checks. Yeah. Okay. Nine. Okay. Uh, eight. Eight. I want to take the... If I can, because I rolled higher than him, can I get in front of him? It's still a nine. I know. Is it a saving throw? Yeah, it's a saving throw. <laughs> Is it a different number? I'll re-roll. Well, no. What was your number that you rolled? I rolled an, I rolled a six plus two. And I have, I have an ability to be a, that I can okay. re-roll a saving throw if I would okay. initially, initially fail it. Okay. And now I rolled a dirty 20. Oh, oh shit, okay. <laughs> You get in front of Tibbles. I got a lot of health. I can take. Mm. Uh, Natural case. inclination to protect. Meanwhile, the actual tank is is being he is taking, 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 I'm, I'm doing what, I've, what I'm built to do. <laughs> You can run behind. You can dex behind me. (laughs) (laughs) Okay. On failed, which would be the Grove and Tybalt, 40 fire damage. No, no, 20 fire damage. I thought that's a lot of fucking damage. 20 fire damage for those who succeed. So I'm those two, out. Those two groves are gone. Okay. 
Uh, my like skin kind of singed with my the silver. You can hear the clattering of Winston behind your behind behind your neck, almost as if it's scared. Stay. I, I whisper to him. Just stay hidden. Uh, Sonaris, it is your turn. Ugh. All right. Uh. Yeah, I see who I am. Okay. I'm gonna double move to the snake. Double move. Double move. Yeah. Da- or dash. Yeah. Oh, okay. That was your action. Okay. Dash. You're using your action to dash. Yeah. yeah. Uh, did you? What did you have to go through? I I was here. And I see a clear path. I can go diagonal across past okay, this I, guy, I, 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 and then straight between the yeah, two. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I just didn't know where your path was. Uh, okay, yeah, that's actually and, fine. Yeah. Cool. That was your action. Yeah, yeah. Unless, but, you, unless you have a bonus action. Oh, I action right. surge is bonus. And then, yeah. <laughs> are you really gonna do it? Okay, oh, cool. Fuck. Fuck. Yeah, because fighters can what do a that. Dirty little fight. You can action surge bonus, and then and you're attacking. The him. things like the indomitable and action surge are special, so it's like. They don't, they don't fall onto an action, t- on an action table. They're just able to be used on, on cooldown. And then I'm going to take two swings at this fucking snake. Okay, go ahead. Just clean. <sighs> All right. The first one would be a 21. That hits. Okay, cool. Uh, and I'm going to, I'm going to also on hit, uh, cast a, 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 a searing smite into it as well. Searing smite, that's radiant. It is fire damage. Fire. Nice. Okay. Uh, when you hit a creature, the attack does 1d6 extra damage. Um, and it, the target is ignited in flames. It has to make a constitution save on the start of every turn that it, until, it, until it saves. Okay. Or it takes 1d6 fire damage. Okay. So, damage. Uh, and I have to make that con save here now. Uh, no, you make it at the start of its next turn. Okay. Um, it takes one d six now, but it will take another one at the start of its next turn. Yes. What's its uh, total? Uh, I'm math in my head. Yeah. Uh. uh twelve. Total twelve. Twelve, and then on the se- second swing. Ah, was it going to be this first? Yes. Uh. 26 to hit. 26? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> okay, cool. And then I'll just do a little damage. Uh, Eighteen. On the second one. Okay. Does it take extra damage from fire? That was 30 damage in one attack. Hmm? Does it take extra damage from fire? You didn't have the fire damage with that? It did. Yeah. Yeah, it took, it was like one point of fire damage, but mm-hmm. I mean, it took the fire damage. Okay. Out. I wasn't sure if it was uh, if it was weak to it or not. Mm-hmm. Um, otherwise, that's the end of my turn. All right. Glenn, I'm not going to say a word to this man. Yes, sir. You can see that the fire is beginning to, you know, billow on top of the snake, of which you are still pretty much attached to. Mm-hmm. It started talking. Huh? It started talking. What did? You heard that, right? Yeah. <laughs> okay. There was like a little voice in there. It was, like, it was like a little girl voice with like something and stuff. Okay. I promise so, you, uh, so we're not losing our shit over here. You trap someone in the speaker? <laughs> so like Tiberius? It's Britney's <laughs> ghost. It's a girl. All right, figure it out. Actually, little baby pop. Uh, I tried to do one of those ghost things, and I said, "What's your actual name?" And I said, "Alice," and I went, "Oh, sorry." <laughs> Um, con saving. We'll figure it out. For me? Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, this shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh. What? Can you hear me? Hello? Hello? So, okay. So that okay? 21. 21? You have a performance. 21. Now it is your turn. Yeah. Yep. Alright, so now that I actually have my swinging arm handy, uh, I'm gonna fucking attack the snake. Okay. Alright. Three. There it is again. What the fuck is happening? Change the music. Please. I can't. This is one video. Okay, we'll just leave it. Oh, it's okay. Skip. Just leave it. Skip it's to fine. what? The next video that doesn't <laughs> exist? No. Is this a video of like compilation of music? 
It's just like the girl's like, <sighs> she's like, Ooh, barely whispering in here. I, I, I just skip forward like, it is 10 seconds. Okay, that's Brittany's fine. ghost speaking to us. <laughs> Cause it's like it's like a barely audible like voice, but like we can hear it. It's like all right. That that <laughs> is. Fuck off. What's your name? Why did you do this to me, That is a seventeen. Seventeen does it. Does it? Wait, the, the, the AC is 17. Okay. Then, then I'll uh, uh, try out my second attack, though. Uh, th- this one, I'm going to use my uh, ability of extra attack. I can attack twice instead of once for, for an attack action. Yep, yep. So, I love how you asked me if the AC was 17. Because I know you wrote it down. <laughs> So that first attack is a 25. That is. The damage on that will be 9 slashing damage. 9 slashing. Okay. And then the second one would be better to roll both times at the same time. That will be a dirty 20. That is. With 10 uh, slashing damage. Oh my god! What else do you do? Um. I don't really think I can do anything else. I mean, I'm already raging. Um. And you're adding your additional strengths. Yeah. I, re- I actually remembered to do that this time, so. Good, because I forgot. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think I am. I think I'm finito for the time being. Right? In that case, the remaining Grove are going to... To actually fight? Are going to move yeah. towards... Generally... Goraz, Tion, and V. Goraz. Tion, and V. Okay. So the, these guys here that are caught in the dust devil, mm-hmm. they're going to move past it again. They don't take damage; just moving past it they, because they don't end their turn. So thirty for each one of them. Yeah. Three. Oh god. Oh god. Let's take that right there. Oh god. Oh my god. Hey, yo. Did you just kill somebody? What the fuck did you just do? How many dice was that? that what was are like you a doing? Full of dice. What is the thing doing? What's going on? I, I tuned out for like 20 seconds. All the grove moved towards NPCs. Oh, fantastic. The grove on M14. This guy. M14. Oh, sorry, no. L14. That guy. He's good. Nat 20 acid splash on V. Oh my god. Okay. Dang. <laughs> Again, who went through the soul drain from yep. Chauncey from, from the veil? He is already weakened. And he's dead. So he's dead. He takes he that acid died. splash. Succumbs to it. Has he not already healed re- re- after a day? Recuperated from that? Yeah. Permanent damage. Like wh- when you guys found him, he was wrinkled. Damn. Dumbass. Yes, call him a dumbass for being captured and drained yeah, of his soul. I'm going to battle. Because he's I, uh, I, uh. How much damage did he take? A lot, probably. Thirty-two. And how much health does he have? He had twenty-nine. Okay, so he's not full damage. He's unconscious. Then. Yeah, exactly. He's not so, dead. so I've um. Uh, he's not dead yet. You don't have death. You don't have to roll death. That was a five. So that's one fail. Oh one fail. God.
as the grove see the fall to the acid splash, the ranged one sees an opportunity. No. Gonna hit them all with hand. Is it casting a spell technically? Morphs its hand very akin, if you guys remember from from Belfort, where it where the the growth are able to like morph its hand into being almost like a javelin shot and shoots its own arm. Does it count as a spell or does it count as a ranged attack? It's a ranged attack. Okay. Towards V. Auto hitting, failing a second death save. And then the one more attacks Tion. The one. Okay. Now, wouldn't V be dead? Luckily, it was a two. Because you don't you take two death saves. It's two death saves on a crit, so and he already failed one. Yeah. Right? So he's dead. He's so dead. So V's technically dead. No, he wouldn't. Yeah. When yeah. You, when if he's unconscious, hit, it's an auto crit. You take two. You death targeted saves him when he's. It'd be like you did it to us. It auto crits if he's unconscious because he can't really defend. He, t- if you, it if did. You get, it did it to me. Remember. If you yeah. take two, if you take damage when you're unconscious on the ground, it's two death saves. Yeah, yeah you so killed V. So you killed V. Killed v. Killed v. Now the you killed, killed v. v. And then Grove will take him. Embrace that. Have fun. Yep. <laughs> you. I mean. You just killed. It, no, I mean he did what he did. It's well, an NPC. Yeah. It could have been anyone. Shit. Mm-hmm. Yep. I well, the veil rate was pointless. I prepared for this. <laughs> I prepared for this. Yeah, d- yeah, yeah, don't forget the dozens of other people that we saved yeah, from the veil. Yeah, don't forget the other people that we saved. You know, just forget them, you know. Yeah, no, we only went in there for V. Only. I'll make it sort of, you know. I'll make it sort of. <laughs> Cathartic. So. As he feels, you know, that acid splash drenched upon him he can already feel himself at death's door using his own adrenaline he can see he can feel the javelin onto his withered chest real uh, lord of the rings moment very boring very boring very boring very boring very boring he looks and tries to see if he can find his long-term companion, Sonaris, on the other side of the building. I don't even know he's dead. He is going he's to. Still alive in Sonaris. He's going to stand. You can see that his legs are shaking as he takes his sword and holds it underneath. With the blade out, he moves forward. Oh, he went flying like samurai anime. Yeah. He went samurai shampoo with this. The one who did the acid splash. Dead? Dead. Okay. The one who tried to attack Tion. Dead? Dead. Okay. And then the one with the javelin. Dead. He makes his way to behind Sonaris. Like directly behind? Directly behind Sonaris. So like right here? Right there. I'm I'm, I'm gonna take that unconscious thing off for the time being. Just to make yep. him stand up straight. Oh, sorry, Sage. There you go. With your passive perception, Sonaris? You're able to see the three body, the three remaining bodies of the grove behind him <laughs> topple over as you can see a giant grovian javelin sort of beginning to spread along his chest. Blood and just slime everywhere as it stings and fizzes on him. The wrinkles and the falling scales from his body looks at you as he smirks. I left you the big one. And guys. V? Aha! The voice comes back. The voice came back. (laughs) 
Tibble. It's your turn. I see this display, and I'm like... Should I just take him off, or... No. No, leave him there. Like, physically from him. Over. There's no more grove, except for the snake. The snake's all that's left. Kill the snake. Nah. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, I have line of sight. Wood block. I'm going to cast... I'm going to cast Animate Dead. On V? Oh. On V. Oh god. Damn. But I want to do it in such a way, I want to, I'm going to prick my finger and put the blood to the wand. (laughs) This time, please. Anime dead. As soon as you cast the spell, hoping that it works, you see V sort of plastered on the floor. almost puppeteered from his chest with the javelin still sticking out. Its chest is pushed forward while the rest of its body and head is sort of slunken back. You see this, Sonaris. You literally just saw him die in front of you and then immediately get back up. Do I, can I see Tibble? Natural 20. Natural 20, you <laughs> nice. know there's only one person who you've recently encountered who can do this weird shit. I see shit. V fall down in front of me. I, in complete disbelief. And then he starts to get up. And then just over his shoulder, straight down the path. Just shoot it down. If you weren't, pay, if you weren't paying attention, you would not. You wouldn't have even noticed the iridescent fire him with in the, his eyes. The fucking with, with that with that fucking bone wand. Um, and I just I stare at daggers. Bonus That's action. Terrible. I want to speak in V's head. Mm-hmm. Okay, soldier. Help your friend and kill the snake. And almost, I want to do it, my anime dead works rather than, oh, cool, the body works and it just listens. I'm almost using it like a puppet. Yeah. I'm moving it with my, so I feel the sword in my hand, or his blade in my hand, and I'm moving him, and I move him yeah. mentally to all, go. All, 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 almost like a Jaeger kind of thing. I put my hand so the past Sonaris. I put his hand and move him out of the way. Stab, stab the snake <sighs> who fucking rolls to hit for that me or me you, you? okay I have control you just tell him i guess what the bonuses yeah are. so okay, i'm yeah. rolling to hit with the blade uh let me pull up these stats okay four plus four plus uh and you're just using his like his regular sword i guess yeah that's yeah. what he had I guess yeah. that's four plus seven so 11 doesn't hit that's better. Uh, 21 on the plus second. Plus 7, 28, yeah. Yeah. Or 14. It's 14 plus 7, 21. Oh, then yeah. Um, what's the damage on it? Uh, it is a 1d12. Okay. Plus 3. 13. Okay. And it's under my control for 24 hours. So where would it be on the battlefield now? Where would it have gone to step? Um, probably to the other v side. V would yeah, he would have came to the Wait, other side, touching is your there shoulder. Not, is there any space there under the awning? He's probably oh, he's awning? probably he's probably like right on the wall. But right. he he had to put a hand on your shoulder to move, get you out of the way, and then stab. And I'll just still puppet. And I look toward because I how I imagine is if I'm animate dead and I control, I look through his eyes, so mm-hmm. I look at you with him. You can see me staring at you. Whatever. It's a mixture of his voice and my voice. Whatever Whatever you're feeling right now. Right now. 
use it on this creature. And I turn back, reading. Yeah. Uh, top of a turn order, Sage. Oh my god. Um, sorry. A lot has happened. A lot has um, happened. A lot has happened. All I really want to know is... I'm a real necromancer. What you am know? I still on the roof? Yes. And do I still have clear range of this the snake? It's a spot you yes. target. I can't target any of the grove because they're undead. Um, Sorry, man. Right. And it's also what Tibble will do. He doesn't have feeling towards it. I guess I'm just gonna go with my usual. No, you know what? I'm gonna do myself a favor and I'm gonna use my gun. Oh, okay. For, excuse me, hunting rifle. Um, your your freshly polished and maintained hunter rifle. Yup, my freshly polished and maintained hunting rifle. Um, a shout out to my bestie, Ghost, for helping me with that. Um, and I want to aim it at. The snake. Well, oh, snake. Uh, it. It, here, here's a question for you. Where's Ghost right now? Is Ghost still on the roof? Did I help them up? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, Hear me that, out. Yeah, Ghost is like, what, 10 feet? 10, away, 10 feet? 10, 15 feet away from me? Okay. Fair. Um... Okay. I just want. I was thinking about asking if Ghost was willing to give me the help action, so I rolled with advantage. But uh, that is a twenty-two to hit. You do not need the help action. You hit it well enough on your own. Yeah. Uh, so that is two d ten. That's sixteen plus four. So that's twenty fire damage. For my first Dear attack. Dear God. Um, you said 20? Yes. All right, hold on. I gotta, I gotta, 20 fire damage from my fire bullet. That was just my first attack. <laughs> Damn. Oh, I'm <laughs> don't, don't tell me I already killed it. I just added Come it up. On. I just added it up. Um, okay. You're, you're, you're still going? Yeah, I want to take my full turn. Roll to hit. <coughs> These die are so nice to me today. Uh, that is another 22 to hit. Oh my god. Describe your um, kill. Jesus Christ. Um, okay, that's 18 fire damage this time. Um, so, with all that confidence that oh, no, fucking <laughs> ghost gave me, oh, no. and after, you know, using my girl gun powers, or girl gun bonding powers to Gal like, help Gal 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 Your your gal gun. Oh god, cow girl gun. Oh god. <laughs> We're girl gun gals. That's a, um, <laughs> that's a hot take right there, dog. That's a very hot take. Man, I love this sword arm line. <laughs> fucking, I like 360 no scope this motherfucker. <laughs> um and I almost want to say MLG. I, I almost want to say roll disadvantage if you want to do a three sixty no scope. Okay, I won't do a three sixty no scope. I just shoot my gun so good. Nat, I'm so good at Nat one's like accidentally twenty fire damage on coast. Oh <laughs> Oh, I imagine that in real life with a quick scope and call Jesus, you're hitting the fucking scope against your eye. As soon as you make that shot, you can hear you can hear the snake below. Black eye. Is it saying? It just roars as it falls down. Yeah. Glanton, you are make a deck saving third to see if you don't still, fall on the it's snake. It's also still on fire. It is very much on fire. What's still on fire? The snake. The snake. Sonar- oh. Sonaris set it on fire. Uh, what's? Oh, what that part would have been yeah. kind of important. Shit. Um. Yeah. Uh, well, I guess it's a good thing I used to fire bullets. Um. Cool. Seventeen. Cool. 
17? Yeah. You're you're able to like sort of catch yourself like on the slippery snake. Uh I mean has Blanton deal has Blanton suffered any uh damage? Of course he has. Um can I use healing word on Blanton? At this point, now that the grow have been dealt with, the okay. sun now fully crests over the walls of Long Bee, where you can now see, you know, some people from either hiding inside of the markets to different shops and their homes sort of begin to peek out. I walk kind of through the carnage of it all and I'll walk up behind B and put my hand on his head and drop animate dead but I catch his body before he falls and I gently lay him to the ground considering that he has already passed it's very much just yeah and I catch and I lay it down gently I walk next to Sonoris yeah I'm right beside you currently he's going to deck you, dude. <laughs> I look at you standing taller than you and I'm like I am sorry. Punch him square across the face. Roll it. Do it. How did I know? Oh, that's easy. I get, I, I'm sorry out of my mouth and then you punch me. Uh, 23 to hit. Hits. <laughs> Arm strike. Six points of damage. Six points? Yeah. Full, full hit. Full hit. Um, I will take the six across my jaw. And take it like an absolute champ. I kind of... Never do that again. At least not to someone I know. It'll be a sword instead of a fist. I understand your displeasure. But it helped. I didn't say it was going to be perfect the first time, but I helped. If you want me to, I can make better arrangements and see if I can't actually bring him back. He's still fresh. Or would you rather bury him like your other friend and we never have a chance? Give me the chance to prove myself. That is what I'm here to do, and that is what I want to do. Question, can I hear this conversation? One. He's there not being quiet about it. One chance. And if it goes wrong, wrong, then you stop me. I'll even let you be there. Because I'm, if he, he doesn't work, I'm sure going to try on the rest of these people. I'm not doing it out of some sick thrill. I'm doing it out of research. I'm doing it to help people. But none of you seem to understand that. Yes, I'm a big fucking dragon. I get it. I'm not the most kindly looking fellow, but I at least have my mind. Okay, it's not the dragon part, it's the tone. <laughs> that too. This is a little this you're, is a little more than creepy. I can you're, show. You're creepy as fuck. I've gotten that. I shout from the quite a bit. Yeah, man, you're super fucking creepy. No <laughs> But he reanimated a squirrel, so he might actually have a chance. Give me give a, a day. Just, do you, I'll give you a moment. I understand. It's not the greatest times right now, but hey, look what we did. We helped this town. I get more research and we all... I want to know where these fuckers okay. came from. Obviously, around... Yeah. Around. Very intuitive. <laughs> If there, there were, there were, didn't seem to be any warning signs. If anybody, they were just already here. If anybody wants to do an investigation check, just to, to, to elude as to how this could have happened, I'll okay. start walking back towards the gate. Uh-huh. Give a look to the guy. What guy? The one who's next to me. Who's next to you? That's a dirty twenty for investigation. Uh, that's Goros, the half orc. Oh, who's the guy who threw the bomb? I thought that was him. No, no. Is Goraz not the orc? Goraz is the orc. Or are you talking? <laughs> He's talking about this guy, the guy who threw the firebomb. Yeah. Oh yeah, my bad, my bad. Yeah, that's that's the old looking man. Yeah, my bad. I give him a dirty look. 
and I'll walk towards the gate and now I'm going to investigate where these fucking roads can go. Yeah, and he then... scowls back at you. What's up? My investigation was 18. 18? Dirty 20. Dirty 20. Mm -hmm. With both of you guys investigating, you guys can genuinely tell that these, uh, the, the prints that they left behind, as well as the massive, like, groove in the cobblestone that the snake left behind, definitely came from the forest. If you remember what the Wildwood map looks like, and you can kind of see it on the Radon map right there, there's like a little like object of forest and a path that leads directly from Long B to Magos. Okay. The so they can't so the that end them. of the forest. That's where they came from. So th they're coming from the Goliath lands. Um Tigeo, if you remember She doesn't. <laughs> No, no, it will. <laughs> when, 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 uh, when you save the refugees from Lagos, you sort of had to go through that little bit of the Goliath's the lands. So yeah. you would know for a fact that these are probably the grove that came from Lagos and made their way to Longby. You're so funny, Alex. Sure. Oh, okay. okay. So the, the, this was the Smile. remnants of the of the grove that's been chasing the refugees for the past few days. And now they've come. And they came to where they went. Kind of leaving V's body, I would like to go over to some of the other corpses and start picking. Which corpses? On the, the map, the, you the, can see that there are some actual humanoid and some groven bodies, as well as the actual snake itself. Grove. Grove Specifically. There are... Just go to the first one that the first one is intact, see, as intact as I can, and I want to go and I want to investigate. Okay. Are you looking for something else specific? Just looking at anatomy. Looking at looking, anatomy. Seeing how it shifted this one. Yeah, yeah. That is... Uh, 27. 27? You can tell that this grove... Uh, used to be a dwarf. Um, Long-ish beard, but now you can see that one half of the beard has been shrunken and almost, like, it, its texture has turned more coarse and bark-like. Um, it's changing entire genetic make. You can see that its skin is starting to turn leathery, almost like a book. It's aging rapidly. Uh, there's large bald spots along its head. Very rapidly. And out jets of actual fauna coming from various, like, parts of its body. And like, working, it's, like, its chest, its leg, its cap, its foot. And it's growing like a fungus. I hate to be pedantic. I think it's flora, floras, plants, fauna as animals. Yeah, my bad. Sorry. Either way. Um, there's a there's a whole ass pig coming out of his face. <laughs> I want to take my wand. <laughs> that, that pork butt. Oh my lord! Oh my god! They're actually awesome. <laughs> I want to take my wand squirrel. and I want to yeah, cast. Oh wait, no, that's just double fun. <gasps> What's get out of that? Oh, I wish I took speak with dead, but I can't. Or I don't get that yet. Um. Grove are technically dead, right? Yes and no. He counts them as undead, but... The, the Grove ride the line between dead and undead, because they, they take alive hosts, but sometimes those hosts can pass on. And they just mm, puppet the body. Yeah. Um, even, even more so than they are here. I'm going to take a little... I'll take, um... Makeshift wooden... <laughs> It looked like investigate, like crime scene numbers. I'll take it from a pack. Put a number one right there. And I'm oh gonna go around God. to every single one that I want to take <laughs> and put a number. Scene. Put a number. So one, two, three, I'll take five and put a six next to V's body. Oh, Why wouldn't that's... you be number one? Yeah, that's fine. Number one. I just, I, 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 I have 10 of these and these six seem to be the ones that are useful. <coughs> Can I hop down from the roof now? Feel free. And I just look at all my numbers, and I'm just like, 
So yeah, I have five bodies marked. That's fine. The sixth body is V's. So I went to the gate. Oh, I'm gonna here. take off yeah, my I also, cloak I also like and it. appear yeah. in sure front of in these relation. lovely villagers mm -hmm. who didn't know I was there. Mm -hmm. <coughs> they, they they all sort of uh There's they they all sort of <coughs> turn double <coughs> drop. Dust devil. Yeah. Oh, they, what? they they all sort of turn uh a uh, turn toward you. Uh turn towards you. Uh Goraz and Tion uh, both look uh towards you. The the half orc sort of makes his move first. Jesus Christ. Were you here this whole time? Yeah, you get used to it. I don't know if I want to, but thanks a lot. You're welcome. The the uh the Leonin, this massive fucking like beefed up lion person, makes his way towards you. Extends a paw. Thanks. You're welcome. I shake hands. I look at the Leon and, and the uh, no problem. gentleman. If it's not too much trouble, could I have some hands to get these bodies? Uh, you see that? Safe place. You see Goraz. Um, he sort of moves over towards Aelin, who was prone. Hey, hey, you all right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm good. I'm good. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, what? Do you remember we, we gave we give Aelin a hand kill voice? Oh, yeah. <laughs> did we? Yeah, we yeah, did. We did. <laughs> <laughs> this is great. <laughs> Love it. The, the, uh, <laughs> the uh, dragonborn needs some help with the bodies. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll do my best. Just give me a second, goddammit. Propane and propane says. Is there uh, is there any place we can I'm take so these bodies that is cold, undisturbed? Wow. Can I, can, I, can I see the long beam app real quick? I don't know. Uh, it's it's, under, it's oh, underneath. Uh, yeah, I just need a, I just need a reference. I need a reference for a place that's cold. Oh, God. Um, <laughs> Bobby. Um, I'm not so sorry. He's here. 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 I guess the coldest place that you could probably turn it to is Sarah's heart because it's cold. Oh shit. damn! Yeah. My wife, everyone. My it, wife is probably <laughs> is, is probably the baby basilisk of hot. Very nice. <laughs> they're they're like like because okay, of the like carry, the just inertly you could have a little bit more around the next character. <laughs> uh, okay, I guess that will do. Um, this might also work. I um I don't fully, but I go up to the bodies, and I gently use my ice breath to keep them cold. You can see that you are preserving these grove as little crystals begin to form. I go last up to V and I look at Sonaris. I promise this is just to keep the body intact. Damn. I hope you're oh, I'm not next good. to you anymore, so you can just... I'm, I'm over the Oh, okay. Yeah. I just... You can, uh... Out of the corner of your vision, sort of coming in from the main pathway from the markets. Kumia? Linfair? Why the fuck did you make what's his name from Dragon Age? Yeah, after Solas? <laughs> Solas. <laughs> um, I'll start heading back in that direction towards where the rest of the group is chilling. Now that we've already. <laughs> the, so there are the couple of us investigating. The these three make their way, but the bald high elf makes, a, makes his presence known. Are they gone? Is everyone okay? Has anybody been hurt? I slowly raise my hand. He's a high elf, yes. Just Can I slowly put my hood back on? Feel free. Okay. Right here, sir. Just a little bit. No, I, slow, I slowly raise my hand as well. He sort of motions towards Glanton. But it's nice to see you again. Tybalt, you said. Tybalt is your name? Correct. Guess what happened? 
I just show him like the half burns across my robe and eh. I'm a little dinged up. Understandable. Fully healed. Cool. Okay. Uh, he looks towards the ground and he sees V. Frozen. Wait, Cold. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute also. Preserved. Preserved. Yeah. Yeah. He's like Walt Disney. Me also. <laughs> pull out. <laughs> only, only. No, that's only the head on. Do I know? Uh, like, he said, like, it's good to see you, so I know this person. You already know this. Yeah, I guess, we're all, I guess we're all grouped up. Do I now? have it in my notes on the chart? <laughs> if I'm not mistaken, you should already know this person. If not, I can just show you. Back. It's not bragger. I can. <laughs> it's to rehydrate him after that frost breath. Oh, yeah. Code blue. No, it's no voltage. voltage. Oh. Oh. oh, God, no. Not code blue. Yeah. What am I thinking of? There's code, code red, and then there's. Would this person else. possibly know me? Mm. Would this person I, know me? I think. Then I'll become. I would you know who this person is. Yeah. Does this person you, know you me? Does this know person me. know me? Hmm? Does this person recognize me? <laughs> he knows who you are. Yeah. All right, I'm on invisible again. Oh, okay. Who is he? Oh wait. Hmm? Who is he? Uh, um, roll a history check to see if you know. Wow, well, kind of the best. I could have found the best had a, gift. Had a That's for his dad. Found the best mm-hmm. gift. Sarah. That was her last name. Okay. Okay. No. Freya's last name was Lurik Sastry. Look at look at the last Nine. name of Dolar. Hmm? Nine. Nine? You got no idea who this is. Do I recognize this person? I think by name. What's, what's Dolar's last name? Um, yeah, Do- Dolar Lurus. History Lurus with Lurus. advantage but, but, but this guy, But this guy's braggart. Oh, I thought you were talking about the hive. He definitely doesn't know me. Hmm? He definitely doesn't know me. My bad. No. 22. He You're talking to a very, a very specific individual. 22. Person, you know who this person is. is. From your background as a shopkeeper, from a model, I won't disclose exactly from where, that's your prerogative. This man is Dolar Laura Sastry. Laura, I thought you said it was, yeah. I thought it was, I thought it was Brack Reverse. Hmm? You literally showed me that it was Brack Reverse. Hmm? I'm sure he was too. Oh, I was looking at the name above it, never mind. It is. Yeah. yeah. Do- Do- Dorlar Loris Austri. Dor- Dorlar Loris Austri. CEO of Prime World. Freya's the dad. The biggest conglomerate of tapestries, textiles, and fine goods in Radon. He is probably. Loris Austri? Loris Austri. He is, Loris Austri. He is yeah, probably I, I got, the wealthiest that. man other than the two queens in Noxum. And Karan. Or is Karan not even. I mean, thank you. You know where Karan's at. Yeah. Laura. Mr. Laura. Co- Bra- 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 Laura Zostri. No, yeah, me. Laura Zostri. Yeah. I, 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 saw, I saw the name of Long that. No, I'm so confused now. Yeah. yeah. No, this I'm is, Dor- this is Dorlar. You have grown into a fine and capable, yeah, young man. Yeah, yeah. 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 the guy we're talking to. I'm not as young as I used to be, sir. Yeah, yeah. Nice to see you're hanging with the right crowd. These days. Tell them. Do, do you mind mentioning that to them? They don't seem to think that from me. No, catch on. I'm sure. He's cool. Fingers crossed. I like him. Do we have any information as to I like where him. these <laughs> grows may have come from? Magos. Magos? Uh, wait, did they say Lagos? Magos. M- Magos? Yeah, yeah. Magos. We haven't heard any reports of the Grove invading Magos. They have been near Lagos. Yeah, that's why. Did you say it. Lagos? Yeah, I said Lagos. Yeah, okay, I just oh, was following. Oh, the oh it's, it's 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 Lago. If if if, La- if Ma- yeah, Magos if, Lago. There yeah. there there is a main a road path. that leads I directly guess, to there. And I guess in just that general. Direction. But 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 thanks to DeGeo's, you know, okay. investigation, um, mm-hmm. these has to be these have to be the same grove that took over Lago. Okay. Have we heard? Then I say Lago instead. You're fine. You're fine. <laughs> no, because okay, <laughs> but, oh, that's terrible. <laughs> Understandable. Does anybody have any experience as far as this particular cell of 
grove and troops, their history, where exactly they would have come from within Lago? I aim to find out. I mean, I mean Lagos, right? It's Lago. La- 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 if you, it- yeah, Lago. Lago. Um, Goliath. If you know exactly where these grove came from in Lago, do you think that there are more behind the scenes that haven't made their way here yet? Could we expect another attack? My name is Thigeo. Thank you very much. And, um, yeah, they come out of nowhere. They spread like weeds. I kind of chuckle. They're living in for like the longest fucking time. So, like. I, I think what she's trying to say right, is that they are, uh, they've come a quite, they've come quite a long way. You have saved many lives. By all means, whatever. Sorry, I had a cat issue. Um, I'm, I'm so, so sorry. sorry. You're fine, you're fine. Fuck. Um, okay. Uh, where was I? I basically said, I think what you meant to say, or what she meant to say was, they came quite a long way. Yeah. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. so... They're obviously looking for... <laughs> not just looking for trouble, they're looking for domination. It's the end goal. Understand. We're going to have to do a better job at fortifying our defenses for sure, no doubt. If there is anything that you need, I'm sure you understand. Pumia, Linfir, there are your contacts. If you require anything of extra value, they'll report to me. I'll provide whatever you need or desire. Thank you. So much for everything that you've done for us. Could you, if I might be so bold as to ask, mm. could you send word to my parents in Magos? Communication entering Magos has been quite scarce after the shutdown. The, the what? About a month or two ago, Magos went dark. What do you mean went dark? Any sort, any sort of the crusaders have already been any sort of magical means as far as communicating (laughs) in and out of Magos for some reason has been severed. There is some kind of darkness that is upon Magos. From what we can tell, everybody seems fine. It's just as far as information coming in and out, it is extremely isolated. And like for the first time. I'm genuinely bothered. I'll send a raven as quick as I can. So he does feel my Please do. Uh, it, it appears as if I'm busy. I will return back to my chambers. If you need anything, these two are the contacts. This is Dolar. This is Dolar. Now we're starting to walk away. Now we know. That now we know, like, those Spices know that he is Freya's dad, right? Now you have that knowledge, yes. Yeah. Hey, Dolar. Ah? Uh, How's Freya? Inside check. Ooh. Yo, how's your gir- how's your daughter oh, doing, bro? Oh, wait, actually. Hold on. It's like a Chad asking if it's... How's your daughter, bro? Yo, how's that? How's your fucking how's your kid? Fucking it's like a Churley sketch. <laughs> Uh, it was only an eight. An eight. Can I also, can I also help action advantage? I already, I mean, I already rolled advantage. I was just gonna, wrong. I was just gonna say ro- rolling my own insight. I get advantage when it's rolled on insight. I just rolled super bad twice. Ouch. I, I, 
Hi, I had to bat her down. Hi, folks. It's your local, that's what I heard. Locally sourced. He's summoning the numbers. 28. 28. <laughs> Damn. Solaris. No idea. Glanton. He obviously knows more than he's leading on. And continues to walk away. You don't suspect a thing. You yeah. genuinely don't. I, 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 lean over, I lean over to him and, and whisper to him. He is hiding something. I am unsure as to what. I'll have to go talk to him now. Indeed. Maybe we'll go and visit for a moment. Well, we get a field trip. As the a tour. As the adrenaline finally wavers from the, the fight, the group huddles. You guys have a minute to sort of strategize your what about the next what about the NPCs so the NPCs are helping moving the grove bodies okay, so they are not the with us. wait so we are collecting the grove the bodies I am, <laughs> or... I am. Okay. did they take did they take okay. V too I guess they took they they, they as well take V <laughs> did you go I'm huddling with you all before I make my move okay, okay. <coughs> excuse me we are doing something. I don't know. Uh, Why are we huddling? No. Why are we doing this? So we, we, so, I don't know. So we, <laughs> we, so like this is this is this is your guys like meta wise. This is your guys's opportunity to communicate as far as what your next steps oh, are. Well, before we end the session for today. Ooh. Yeah, I. I think we need to figure out where the going. I will also agree with that notion as well. But for me, I'm going to start. Researching. See if I can find anything. If you would like to join, since you were close to, uh, I believe, the one called V. By all means, follow. I'm not completely heartless, but I understand. He has a heart. Believe it or not. Surprisingly. Surprisingly. Allegedly. Allegedly. Okay, so I'll be there for... So I did see him kind of tear up a little bit. I mean, so there's so. multiple yeah. things to do. Like, if we still want to stay and help, there's two towns that need freeing from Grove so that uh, supplies can reach Long B as well as Credo. Hmm. There's okay. the Freya situation this going, freaking me out, dude. Go, going, going and investigating uh, like in, Dor Dorlar and finding Freya so we can get the other part of Tiberius' soul into the key. There is. Oh, yeah. uh, you said a key and a soul. No, this is. What Nate have you Tom. all been doing? This is. Yeah, I know. I'm fucking. I forgot about that. Remember, the we'll key, explain that. Remember, later. the key <laughs> is still around Sage's neck. Right. He uh, is technically in my bag. I definitely oh, okay. have. I've definitely kept it hidden since. Um, we the, probably before entered the veil. And, gotcha. and, and then, and then, the, and then there's, if I'm not mistaken, from what the uh, quest guide said. Uh, going back into the veil and seeing how things have changed, or if like we need to like help the civilians within within the veil, like <laughs> do something or readjust. Here, here's what I'm thinking. <laughs> we we finish what we need to here on Long Beach. Take another day or two. Okay. He's, he's then we start making our way oh. towards not. Uh, Silent Bell and Green's Rest to help them out. Not, not to mention finding the other other two of Ayuna's artifacts in Which, both Bester and Halu. We oh, can go yeah. to Bester later. I think because <coughs> like Excuse we me. have that artifact that teleports us, or that can send us to, to Halum. Halum because Fang, Fang has the, that, the one that took has the one that took him to Bester. Mm -hmm. So we help Silent Bell, and then we go to Green Green's Rest. Maybe stop in Lagos or Lago and see what see what the fuck's going on, and then after we've helped Green's Rest, we can decide where we want to go from there. Whether that be go to Corota Zone and check out what's going on, or 
to use the uh, artifact and go to Holland. Oh, I forgot. Oh, Figure out the I forgot whole about heading plan. back to Corozo. I say we go to the Vale and we see what wacky shit's going there so I can bring back Valzir and have my Corozo. Yeah, but also, <laughs> I mean, let's like have PTSD the supplies, for day. If the V thing works out, then maybe we'll, maybe we'll talk about Just it. That's going to be a long process PTSD. that Danny's going to be like, We'll see if it fucking works. I'll roll but, 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 but also, like with what the things that was just said, revisiting Ma Ghost to ha- to help them get their power back on or or whatever. Yeah, we'll put Glant in the dad's play. <laughs> <laughs> go, go, going going to Corota Zone and see how things have fared with the boars now in charge. Also, report for me to whip some ass. Um. Yeah. <clears throat> research. Research. Yeah. Re- research. research. And then God damn it. I would not be opposed to going to Magus as well. Yeah, for my own sake. Pl- plus, that's also where uh, right. that's also where uh, what was Tristan's dwarf character? Uh, if we go that, back to Borland, 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 that's where Borden went to go find his son. Also, I, I I think there's just a lot of places that we can go to back to back. Uh, we don't want to stretch ourselves start, too thin, though. We, we, we do have we do have a timeline in terms of the main campaign. No, I know. Um, I mean, we just maybe we just track DM just meta going in. Double tap. What? Oh yeah. Huh? Um, it is an option. I mean, I brought you all back here before. If we needed to go to someplace fast. I could attempt taking us there. Depending on where it's... I, I mean, I've made my travels. I, I've known quite a few places I could take you all. If we needed to do something expedited. You know. There's a doctor. He's kind of strange. He taught me. <laughs> <laughs> you know, just... Wow, me circles. Wow, Tibble. This really is a multiverse of madness. Eat shit. Doctor Strange walks out, so I mean, we could do that. His name is uh, just like his name is Benna Benna Swift. How accurate Cumber- is this term to be? <laughs> his name is Benedict Cumber Cumber Cumberbun. Cumberbun. Cucumber. <laughs> He's a half point. All, 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 so all of a sudden, a, all of a sudden, a circle comes out, and our Withermore characters walk through. <laughs> <laughs> That's cute. If you think I'm gonna bring him into this <laughs> fucking world, <laughs> over, um, I don't know, dude. That'd be kind of hilarious. Where would you be able to teleport us to? Imagine I would make the Imagine our own characters. characters like meet like see that's the like, caveat meeting, like meeting each other like I could get us there Mal, Mal, Mal at least stage, myself I won't be in pieces like, some of you depending on how well it goes might come in parts kind of works like um like but 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 the bar no 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 but hear me out I know I know I know that sounds a little bad that sounds like no horses are. I, I'm not a big fan of horses. You can ride in the carriage. You, you can literally walk. I, I'm not going to be coming in. No, you're not going to come in pieces. You, you all came did. back here for... That you wasn't... That's a, that's a hypothetical one. Road. That's a hypothetical deal. That's... Uh, what I'm saying is, I've been many places. I've been to Magos. I've been to... I've been Lago. to Belfort. I've been to Lago. I've been to... Lago. Lago. I mean, I, I've been to some of the surrounding Lago. cities. Mago's I again. usually stay away from Corona. So. I went on vacation Why? one time to Magos. <laughs> My mother and There's father told me there was bad there. stuff. Yes, I know. I'm well aware. I don't want to be one of them. Have you ever been, you have you been to any of the southern cities? You've been south. Once or twice. I know Nevisera is a crater. That, you know, that could be a fun voyage. We could go see how that city's fair. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. Go, Turmoil and you, danger. That much. sounds so go, go, fun. Go back go to rematch with Esnes. Let's see how that goes. <laughs> That. I'm not saying I could take on a god, but I could take on a god. No, I'm just kidding. I don't want to help I, 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 can help try, I can try, it will take a lot out of me, but I can try to take us further into the lawless lands. But Magus would be my first choice because of my family. Then, if we were to go to Magus first, we can make, we could move to all the other from there. We could, yes, That's but I suggest we finish our business here, yes. especially well, my. Of course. I agree. R- research, but. You and your research. We will go. We will. You we will, like we will killing a lot, don't you? I want to ask what 
or like most streamlined options are, and this is me just asking. Yeah, this, game. You know? um, uh, because I understand the most uh, important thing right now is. Oh, uh, I had to look at the quest log again, but I understand the most important thing now is helping out the refugees and then like getting back to the veil and then start the artifacts. So if I picked up everything correctly. Correct. Correct. So main quest, like main plot, is yes. artifacts. Side okay. plot that at least involves Long B okay. is Green's Rest Lago for food. And then getting the refugees um, all settled in Credo and checking out the veil. So I see this as Credo Veil. That we deal with so, that. Si Silent Veil for helping build houses in Credo for, Correct. for, for, so, for yeah, more so residents. More like three. I'll, I'll break down. Credo and Veil to check out remnants of Veil and see what, you know, Credo residents need. To actually help that, it's green. go to Green's Rest to get food for Credo. Or you go to Silent Bell to get uh, infrastructure for Credo. Uh, Otherwise, if we go anywhere else that is not Long B or set for the Long B kind of re reconstruction, um, it is go to Magos. Go to anywhere we want in search of artifacts, or we go to the or we teleport to Halum and go get look for an artifact there. That's main quest. So I figure we um, focus on doing, at least for me personally, I want to focus and finish Long B and its remaining quests up and then go look for the artifact. My two cents is, since we are already here in Long B, I want to finish up what we can here yeah. as quickly as possible. Yeah, yeah. Um, that's just, again, my two cents. Yeah, for sure. Um, and then I'm not sure about the Freya's dad thing. That's uh, kind sure. of like a new thing, I guess. That would also be a okay. Long B. That's not even like pertaining to actual like help Credo help Long B, but that's like a side story. That's a side quest. Okay, cool, cool, no. cool, cool. Uh, I'll put my two cents in for Sage. I want to help the people of Long B, and then from there we can go find artifacts. Whether that means splitting the party or going as a group. <sighs> Definitely go as a group. <laughs> I know. I just wanted to see if some could split the parties. Nah, it's time for the Chaos Crusaders to venture out again. Oh, God. Fuck up more just shit. Just the three of us. Yeah, burn more towns, kill more people, I you think murder hobos. That is, and Brittany can decide which party she wants to go. I, uh, I think <laughs> that is where <laughs> we are going to end <laughs> we split the party again. <laughs> You, you, uh, you and Tibbles have to figure out Tibbles which... You have to decide which group you want to be yeah. part of. Fight for the, like, either way, one group will have four and the other one will have two.